podcasting software why why you <laughs> so uh wonky sometimes so sad make me have a sad you make me have a sad welcome i'm your host damien Hallmate. tonight we're going to be playing puzzle games as is the thing to do in 2024 on a saturday if you're hanging out with me first champion already dopeitydope.com they stole my website from me <laughs> just kidding that's uh that's an amazing emoji how's it going sierra welcome on in was been good in your week now that it has ended it is officially the weekend um i i ran today i can't tell you the last time i ran but it uh, it's been a long time and uh it created this weird like i have a weird tickle right in the middle of my throat from heavy breathing which i also don't do regularly <laughs> so if i um if i cough or wheeze at any point today i don't think i'm getting sick i think i just uh i i su i surprised my own body by doing something i'm not used to doing <laughs> ah like that <clears throat> well yes starting raven tonight um things for those of you who come to the channel new welcome and hello uh we do four days of streaming wednesday through saturday starting at 10 p.m eastern or 7 p.m pacific and uh wednesdays we do deep dive discourse topics something to uh get your brain juices flowing thursday retro games friday multiplayer fun and enshrouded saturday we're doing puzzle games right now we're going through the entire mist um franchise i also uh do voice acting my current project right now is a podcast set in a D, D like universe with a bombastic uh absolutely ridiculous um warrior type who goes back to the tavern after big adventures and recants his tale to um, folks who would probably rather just bury their troubles in a big pint of ale but uh, he's got a captive audience so he tells them their story um featured in this guy right here is the business card all it says is where to, is what you listen to there's no website there's no uh hardly any markings i can't get it to focus maybe i'll just bring it close to my face it'll focus it's called wanted swordsman for hire the podcast the reason why there's no contact information or anything on there you just search wanted swordsman for hire and you'll find it you just go anywhere you listen to podcasts you could even go to youtube and listen to it there if you're not really a podcasting sort of person um so check it out i uh I am starting to be featured in uh, episode three, but it will not be my last. Sierra says, doing good today is basically my Sunday. Oh, okay. So I had some days of relaxing. I've been thinking about getting back into jogging lately also. Three out of seven. I just can't really recommend it. <laughs> no, it's it's good. It is good. It is a good thing. Um, I just... Uh, I, I've spent far too long getting into sedentary creative projects, which I love. I love. I love songwriting, book writing, uh, the web comic idea I'm working on with a friend, um, the content creator stuff, getting myself ready for a, uh, a hard release, I guess soft release because I already created the account, but I haven't done anything, onto uh, TikTok. I just like all these things you have to sit still use your brain and think about a lot of stuff doing and not much moving combined with some uh trauma eating that i've been uh doing due to some traumatic things in the last couple of years of our lives and um i really need to get myself back into a shape that i feel comfortable with uh, i don't advocate that everybody has to have a shape specifically but you have to have a comfort with who and what you are and what you're doing with your life and i've been living outside of that comfort um sphere for some time so i was trying to get myself back into said comfort yeah uh so that's a thing there's a little thing down here it's moved quite a bit since uh, a week ago or so uh this is due to uh the 
monthly publication of things like uh, donos, subs, uh, gift subs, uh, Patreon, uh, all like all streams of content creator revenue currently feed into the new earring uh, created by Blood Moon Menagerie, um, which will be featured on every stream uh, as soon as this uh, goal is filled. I'm really excited. I uh, I worked with Oz on this uh, design concept, and I I'm super excited to uh, to get it funded so it can be created so that I can wear it and so that I can promote Blood Moon Menagerie more often. By the way, Blood Moon Menagerie, it's an earring, another jewelry shop on currently on Instagram. Um, they do ship. They ship internationally. Should you live internationally, and um, custom orders if you don't have piercings uh that's fine too no pierced ears gauged ears the whole shebang uh she can do everything because she's amazing yeah so uh check them out sierra says if i start again i'll probably go back to couch to 5k i may need to pick your brain on that because i went from couch to uh doing more than i ought to have done today probably <laughs> interval training works well for me without being too much of a shock to my body that's what i need because i definitely shocked myself today <laughs> um i think i will be fine tomorrow but i think i will definitely sleep deep tonight for having um done so uh are there any other announcements i have for upcoming things are still in the works i'm still talking with the uh background artist to do background back backdrop sorry the backdrop so uh, that's still in the works i received a generous uh donation for the whole like I, i've been selling this show as like the the witch hunter that got corrupted by the things that he had been hunt hunting for so long and i've always wanted to sort of like play the part a little bit um and i just shop under the christmas tree for my clothes most of the time so i just wear whatever is uh, gifted to me um and this this particular donation which is not showing there because it w it's explicitly not for earrings it's explicitly for clothing is uh is going to witch huntery sort of gear and uh and i just need to find um in fact if anybody watching this on vod or live happens to know like good vendors for things that are of a victorian to renaissance -y sort of feel in the witch hunting vampire hunting um or vampiric sort of vibe and you know it's not like costumey crap that's going to be itchy and i'm just going to be like scratching my neck the whole time because i hate it um let me know who your favorite vendors are if you if you have any if you know anybody um because i'm i'm in the market now uh yeah so that was amazing and wonderful and thank you again so much to uh the individual who is providing for the wardrobe budget for this show <laughs> um yeah i think i think this is about backdrop i mentioned oh and merch t-shirts and possibly more possibly t-shirts mugs i don't know about hats let me know what you guys think about hats the um the premiere designs are uh well the first design is done uh if you saw the 2024 intro stream you saw the first design the ghost the loyalty ghost so that one will be up when we find a good vendor that we like the quality for uh and the finding requires time and the time requires time um our second design which is being designed by a guest designer is still in the works but it's uh hopefully going to be wrapped up in the near future and then we'll have we'll launch with two designs and then there are two more in the works but uh past that so damien hall may merch is soon to be on the horizon and my favorite part about saying that is it's not just my dumb name on things that other people will wear around strangers that don't know who i am and then they'll be like why why who is this person whose shirt you're wearing um are you seeing him like what why are you what's going on here um i don't want it to come to that i i would like it to be like fun clothing that's just got an interesting vibe to it that you can use to express yourself as opposed to um promote my dumb name uh let's play a game shall we everybody Okay, so I'm going to, uh, oh, 
Let's see. Sarah also says it's an app. Oh, okay. I I do well with apps. <laughs> it's an app that has a voice peak over your music or whatever you're listening to while jogging. It's an eight-week program that gra gradually adds more jogging and decreases walking during the 30-minute time. 30 minutes. Okay, not bad. Uh, the voice tells you when to walk and when to jog. Week one is intervals of jogging. One minute. Week three, you're up to three minutes, etc. Until you're jogging 30 minutes straight. It worked for me, starting from no experience with jogging. I I like that. I do like interval training. I've done that before. Uh, I have a great interval training um, at home thing. So maybe you could swap stories. Mine isn't an app. You uh, you'd probably have to download some sort of interval timer for your phone, uh, which I know a good one if you're on Android called Impetus. Um, and I use that. This is my uh, cousin's workout routine every morning. It's just a, well, <laughs> I should say, the difference is for me, it's a workout. For him, it's just his um, warm-up routine. <laughs> for me, I finished it. I'm like, that's good. I'm done. Um, but it's only, it's 16 minutes. And, uh, and it can be done in the space of like a walk-in closet. So you don't have to, you know, go crazy about like having gear and, and being somewhere and being intentional about it. You just put aside a little bit of time, follow this little regimen, and then you're, um, you're pumped. And you're, uh, in my opinion, I'm good for the day. But then for him, you know, then you can start your actual workout. <laughs> All right. Uh, and he used to be a, a personal trainer. So, you know, this is coming from somebody who, who knows his ish. I can relate to that. This is plenty. Yes, this, uh, his, his, um, his warm up is plenty for me. <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh, things need to change. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of live production here. Mm, we'll go into here and we'll open the game. So we need to make some changes here. Let's be intentional about audio is going to have to be coming from. Oh, this is not what I wanted at all. I wish it was easy to just show you OBS stuff without um, doxing things and giving you more information than you probably <laughs> need to see. This is on Scum? Oh, I didn't know Riven used Scum. We're familiar with the Scum engine. We've seen this in previous games that we've played on stream, usually the older games. Um, not, you know, not bad, just, you know, older. And this will also have to be the capture for the game. Yeah, it's a very different EXE and it claims it's using the scum engine. So let's see if this makes it work. And hopefully I can also capture my cursor. It does capture my cursor. I see a cursor. It's tracking where it needs to be. We're already in better space than we were with Mist. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a setup and an options. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Lost, hello. Welcome on in. Lost and I played such a fun game of Enshrouded last night. If you haven't seen it, check the VOD out. Uh, it is great fighting side by side, building side by side with some of my favorite gamers. And I wish I could do it more than just Fridays, but then I'd have to give something else up. <laughs> and I, out of the seven days a week that I have, I could tell you I need a whole lot more. I need a lot more days per week because I am not setting aside time for other bigger projects. Um, I don't, I don't know how to eke out more time, but it's got to happen. Is this the original game not remastered at all? As far as I know, uh, well, yes, I know this is the original game, but I also don't know of any remasters. I scoured my favorite family members and friends, uh, Steam libraries that are shared with me, and I didn't see any other variants on Riven. And we're talking about people who like eat, sleep, and breathe the Myst games. So um, does it... Does this one not have a remaster? We're doing it old school. That that also means, you know, still screens and pointing and clicking, I believe, as opposed to what we did with the original Mist, which was we played like the fourth revamp of the game or third or fourth revamp. And it was all 3D and all moving and all that sort of stuff, which also lent itself to some problems because there's some art design differences that made at least one puzzle harder than it used to be. 
just finding something actually not the puzzle part just finding a thing and um and i also walked over another like really obvious thing that you needed for progression uh, uh more than a dozen times without seeing it because i didn't like look down uh whereas <laughs> if you were doing still screen um walking around the game like a as it was originally intended i think i would have seen everything a lot better that's great retro vibes yo yeah we're gonna do the retro -inest tonight okay what does setup do monitor oh monitor adjustment i think i remember seeing this on some older games uh turn the contrast of your monitor up as high as it will go i don't know how to do that i haven't adjusted i'm not gonna mess with my monitor i can see that logo but only barely so it's visible it's that means i may squint or i may ask for help if i walk past something that's this dark of gray in the circle in the in the circle the circle within this square and I don't see it. It's because I have um, several lights shining right in my eyes. Uh, I may need help if I walk past something like that and I, and I super don't see it, but you all know it's there. <laughs> that would be the only uh, quick spoiler or hint that I need without asking for it because I won't even know to ask. You all will see it or you'll know it's there and I won't even know. Although I hear when you stream uh, games that as they come through obs my streaming software that it darkens the game so it might even be harder for you all to see than it is for me you may have difficulty especially if you're using gamma utility and have it set incorrectly as a last resort you may want to try uh to match the three ribbon images to the prints on the back of the ribbon box i think i'm okay i think i'm okay volume adjustment oh okay i can't do the volume in game i have to do it in my computer Oh, 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 that's, oh, that's kind of, that's getting kind of loud. That's, uh, okay. Uh, okay, that's, that's getting, I, it's getting mighty loud. Mighty, oh, it keeps going too. It's just going to keep doing this until I can right here. Adjust the volume that, oh my gosh, oh, 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 can you, can, can we, can we slow our roll here? Oh, I had to bring that way down so I wasn't hurting my ears. I apologize if it hurt anybody else's ears there. Reference number two. Oh, this one's more pleasant. I can handle it. And it's already lower volume. Okay. It feels like a mo. I'm there already. I love it. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it. Let's start a new game. Shall we? Um, hopefully, I only need my trackball because if i need my keyboard i may have to switch it to qwerty again because some of these old games they just assumed literally everybody's on the same keyboard which is super weird wasn't Tavorak invented way before this game was cyan they really missed the opportunity to make the sky cyan colored it's just blue color just like a normal blue. You dropped the ball, Cyan. That's why you're not around anymore. Or are they? Maybe they're still around. <gasps> we start right where we left off. Hi, dude. Thank God you've returned. Thank God. I need your help. Okay. What is it, Atris? There's a great deal of history that you should know. Tell me more. Must continue my writing. Here. Most of what you'll need to know is in there. Okay. Keep it well hidden. Okay. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. Oh. But I can give you this. Oh. It appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny. Wait. But it's actually a one man prison. Um, wait. You'll need it, I'm afraid. Oh? To capture Gan. Who? Once you've found Catherine, signal me, and I'll come 
with a linking book to bring us back. Hmm. Hmm. How am I supposed to signal you if I'm stuck in this other world? I don't know. Oh, this feels... What else? You got more for me? There's also a chance, if this all goes well, that I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from. <gasps> the place I came from. Is this the place I came from? Or is this Riven? Oh my. What are... Uh, hello? Okay. It's quite an epic intro. I'm I'm hooked. I'm already hooked. Whoa! Am I in jail? Oh. Okay. Womp womp. <laughs> we we made it. Here we are. Prison. Hello? It's a man. If he walks, if he talks. Hi. Um. Huh? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, what? Oh, you're touching me. Oh, you steal my book. Oh, I don't like this. He, do he doesn't trust me because I have this book. Now, he now he's happy because he has the book. I don't feel good about that at all. Oh, okay. He doesn't have the book anymore. Oh. Um. <laughs> he took one look at the book. And now he's down. Okay, bye. <laughs> so much intrigue, so much mystery already. I still don't have a cursor. I still can't even move. Who's dragging that guy off the screen? Will we get to meet him? Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Oh, no, no. No. No, my... No. No, no. That's very far. Bring close. Please. Oh. This one. Oh. 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 Just smack my book. Why'd you free me then? If you don't like... Oh. He got a dart to the neck? I super didn't see that. So he was taken out by the other guy. It wasn't the book's fault. That makes a lot more sense. Um, Neat. Well, everything's so still. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm not used to this control scheme. Uh, that's screwy. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Um, that was my prison. It's very pretty. This whole area is quite... It's, uh, it's a bit rocky. A bit desolate looking, but it's good. What do we have down here? Something? Oh, like a button combo thing? Okay, we don't we don't know what that means yet. Um Oh so that's a button. I don't think I would have known that that was a button had I not just give it a poke. But oh, oh. something you can kinda look inside of. Don't know what's there. I do feel much more comfier not having to use QWERTY and WASD, which I was <laughs> at the last game. Uh, so I heard a thunk thunk and a sound of like a tube. I wonder if this tube leads somewhere that we need to pay attention to. It goes right into the rock, it looks like. Can we go farther that way? Oh, oh, something tells me no. That is, that is a long way down. Well, neat. Um, let's, let's not go down that way. Can we see more up? No. Okay. 
Uh, I didn't think we could just walk over that thing, but then we were quite able to. Um, do we pull the lever? Oh, we can't. This guy stopped the lever from being pulled out. Which is fine. We've got our own prison if we can get that book back. But I, I did want the little thing he jammed in there. And it looks like I can't take it. It's all right. So, Bertie, what are these? Looks like a whole rail system that goes all the way around the island. And there are trees, just not where I am. This part of the island just looks dead. Oh, really nice. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Sneaky thing there. Little hidden... I have to be careful about the angles now because I can't just manipulate myself. Oh, and there's more stairs down in another direction. Oh, there, already there's so many options <laughs> of where to go. Yeah, I have to be cautious about um, moving the camera around. What's this do? Uh, oh, oh, I start. Oh, don't, wait, come back, come back. Oh, special room that I have just dismissed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did it. What is it? Hello? Hi. Now I can see inside the room again, but I'm stuck on the outside. That's, that's fine. This is fine. Can I, can you go in here and then turn around? I think not. Just curious. Wait, I have an inventory. It's a book. Oh, we should read the book. Always lore from the beginning. Otherwise, I won't know, like, what the hell I'm looking at, right? I knew we had the little notebook. I just, I guess I forgot. Or I was immediately thinking we're just going to have to, like, explore around. But bear with me. We're going to go through this, get ourselves immersed in the, in the world. That's what we did with Mist 1. And I think it really benefited me. I was, I felt more prepared for that game than most uh, puzzle games I played. Maybe because some of them come with a manual or whatever in the olden days, and then we we're not sitting and reading that on stream. I didn't, didn't even read them off stream. None of the King's Quest or anything like, well, that's not true. There was at least one King's Quest game where we needed the manual, so I downloaded the PDF of the manual, and we read that online. I remember that. Might have been three. Okay. 87, 6, 10. Don't know what that means, but oh, maybe June 10th of 1987, perhaps. They held for more than 30 years, but the corrections I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. Oh, he made Riven, not Atris, but Atris Papa, whomever that might be. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. Patch? That sounds like computer talk to me. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. 87616. Revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments which need to be made, but the basic corrections have been entered and should be working. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change. It's possible that I've made an error, though I've checked my entry against my pre-notation and can find no discrepancy. I've not had a rest in nearly three days, so it may be that. I'm just not seeing it if the fault is with my foundational assumptions, however. Perhaps after a short rest, I will see something. I started reading one of those sentences kind of funny, but I'm just going to go through it. <laughs> 87, 6, 18. Success. It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer. And although it is, po it is impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks of work and I should be free at last to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to think, to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. I've received no sign from her in all that time. I'm afraid that... No. I must assume that she is all right. 
lest my fears undermine my efforts to bring her back. 87619. I did not create the age of Riven. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power, and yet the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I've managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable, and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world, but the theories of one individual cannot support them all. I'll take a short minute and a half break, give myself a little bit of uh, hydration, and, uh, and, and we'll continue. I don't want to miss the uh, lore part for those of you who are uh, not ad-skipping this evening. So I'll say for those of you, as a, as a little reward, for those of you that uh, get to watch this through the ads, uh, the reason why I jogged today is, was a little less than completely um, of my own accord. See, what happened was uh, the whole fam, my sister came with, we all went on a nature walk. And it, it traverses through a lot of back areas that connect up neighborhoods and communities it's like this weird liminal space between places and we walked for a long long while and outed in an area where there's like a lot of food options and it was starting to get around that time where the sun would set and um, it would start to get colder and colder it's winter here it's cold already it was in the 40s and there was a high breeze so that cuts right through your clothes unless you got enough layers on uh, everybody who had hoods was happy, and if you didn't have a hood, you were less than happy. Um, you get to this area, and there's all this food, and we were thinking, why not just stop and eat? I'm like, if we go back now, or if we go back after eating, we're going to be walking back in the dark and even colder. So I opted to jog all the way back, get the car, and drive to where everybody else is so they could just hop into the car after food. Okay, let's continue on with the lower read. <clears throat> oh yeah uh, I must get everyone off of Ribbon as soon as possible the problem now is Gen I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the Islanders if he is still the man he once was I haven't seen him in over 30 years but his history forces me to assume that he is still a threat his myopic mission to restore the Denis civiliza uh, civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake and would continue to do so were he to once again be free of the confines of Ribbon, or the Fifth Age as he coldly titled it. The universe has been safe from his corruptive influence for the last 33 years because no one has been able to leave that age. The last linking book out of Ribbon having been lost in the star oh in the star fisher upon my return to mist that's going to make it rough i don't know i don't think i will be able to get out <laughs> it sounds like that was my intention to maroon my father on ribbon aha gen is his father i thought as much uh, by removing all existing links to other worlds and since the art of constructing books had long been lost with the fall of the Dini, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. Wow, this guy hates his papa. And uh, it sounds like this guy is trying to like kill a bunch of other ages just to bring back an age that is not around anymore or has fallen which seems rude that seems rude in effect that is what we achieved but the way it fell however was no one's ideal though the sting of the incident has gradually faded from my memory the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to be has never left me at the time it all seemed so clear gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue but it was never my choice that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to pay for it. Enough. To dwell on the past is to die in the present. The situation is not the same as it was then, 
The knowledge I've acquired in the years since that time has yet to be applied to this problem. 87620, I think I have the solution. Why it did not occur to me sooner, I do not know, unless the idea of it had been pushed out with the thought of my sons. A prison book, many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Denis, I managed upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I was forced to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find that I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation, quickly succeeded in creating one of these devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link. That is, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person would become trapped and the first person displaced back into the world. The, techni the technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the original text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If indeed my father has not changed, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link back here to Denny? That sounds like our story. We're going to have to find this old man and we're going to have to give him a book that looks like it's going to go back to mist, but it, we can't make it look like we're giving it to him because he's going to have to like feel like he stole it or something to make himself feel better. Something like that. I, I, I sense what we're going to have to do here. Okay. 8772, trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have begun again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not at first concern me. However, tremors of this type were once one of the possible side effects that I had anticipated during this initial phase of the island's readjustment. Still, in order to verify my assumptions, I decided to calculate a game incorporating the new data. The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I'd realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. 8773. I must act while I still have the time. The signs are barely visible, but there's no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent unless I can keep ahead, and that is becoming increasingly difficult to do. 8775. With every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's economy of words has yielded. But it is a dismaying process. The complexity of the problem is overwhelming. There is no end to this. The last few days have all but convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable, and that at best, I can only strive to delay it now, and hope that at some point, the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. 8777. I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. Six days later, something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probability, someone has finally found my lost, missed linking book and has freed me from this prison. That's, that's, that's me and you. Uh, we, we did we did this one. Good job, everybody. We did it. We did, we done did it. Okay. <clears throat> I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. I'm still not sure it can work. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the mere fact that it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven, and yet proceed with my original intent to find Catherine, has given me renewed hope. Wait, how long were we... Okay, three days after we uh, helped him. Uh, the last few days have left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me, once Gen has been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven and risk the possibility of inadvertently releasing Gen. The deteriorated state of the gateway image 
makes the use of a visual signal impossible. But the picture remains a reliable indicator of Raven's condition nonetheless. By measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur on a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual could affect such an elementary change from within an age. The idea may be foolish. Ha! Ha! Challenge accepted. I'll be your fool. Because it sounds like if we could just do whatever fundamental changes, then um, Daddy Atreus, Atreus will uh, find out. And maybe he can do something on his end. We'll see. <clears throat> Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate systems. The Starfisher. Oh, where the book is. We know about that place. <clears throat> hmm. But how, or even if, this fact could be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once I received the signal that they were ready to return, I would have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. However, provided my father was safely out of the way, this should take very little time. After that, Assuming the alliance does not incur so, does not incur much damage in my absence, it should then be a relatively simple matter to hold it together long enough for Catherine to return to Riven and evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a signal without knowing the topography of the island may prove to be impossible, but I'm afraid there can be only one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend to Riven with a way out the potential for failure will be greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. I'm sure my father is expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. May he not be disappointed. Good, okay. So we, if we get that book back, first off, uh, then we have good bait for our, our friend Gen. <clears throat> Can we get this room? Cycled back the way we want it. Any way you want it, back the way you need it. Can I get... This is also not back into the room. What did I do to this place? I should have gone in without pushing the button, but I still wanted to push the button. There's more... There's another scarab and another angle on the room. Thanks. Thank you. Um... Boy, I sure would like to uh, accelerate this animation process. Yep, it's uh, great watching the whole room. It's been like the... Hey, all right. Okay, so there's three. There's three of these um, places. This is the one where we can actually walk in. Uh, neat. Can we look at the floor? Anything to click down there? Uh, some pillars, some scarabs. Looks like five scarabs for the five points of the star. There's an up, pretty stars. I like it. I love it, actually. I want it in my own house. Um, a wall. This looks absolutely impossible to make out. It looks like Russian um, handwriting. <laughs> it's going to be the same on all of these, right? Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super readable. Um, all right. What, what's with these doors, then? These doors lead somewhere, but we don't know the the how to make that happen. There's one. There's the way out. It's just the one. Oh, uh, it's just the one door. So if we could get the room spinning and be in here at the same time, that would be fine. Do you guys open or anything? Can I pull? <laughs> hey, I have a. It's like a wall hanging um, jumping jack thing that we bring out at Christmas. It's like this. We put it back away. Okay. I don't know what I'm opening you for. Can I poke at you? Ooh. Oh, ooh. Okay. It's like a little story. There's like a, an atris or maybe a gen figure looking down. There's five wise men. Man's passing pages. and What's he doing in the first one? Oh, he's. He's designing. He's having this this dude do the work. 
uh, pages to give to them. Oh, it's telling them to go kill. He's got a hand up, but is he saying, don't, don't actually kill. Or is he saying, go forth, go forth and kill. You have my blessing. Uh, he's doing some measuring. And, uh, and pages are falling from the sky from a big tall tree. I wonder if I'll have to remember there's a big tall tree that drops pages. Okay, uh, thank you for your story. Uh-oh. Was this the one that I pulled? That's the one that I pulled. So backing out from here. Oh, that transition makes it a little hard to see that that was the left one. But I think I can sort of track that. Okay, there's, a, there's another one. Uh, it's a book. Oh, hand over top of it. Flames underneath. That looks dangerous, like maybe you'd burn the book. But the uh, there's five people again. wonder where the five keeps coming in. And they all look like they are uh, in worship. Oh, lots of trees cut down, too. I guess you have to cut trees to uh, make um, books. In fact, this seems to be the case up here in the top left corner. It kind of looks like a shredder. And then it's spitting out its shredded bits at the book. <laughs> like, yes, to burn down, take down all of the trees in this age to make books with. Uh, it's kind of like the story I'm seeing here. All right, that's two stories. There should be five of these. What is this story here? A man writing, and he creates many things. The plants, the bugs, the birds, the dog with its head broken, neck broken, the stars, the people, and the sun from a plant. Good job. You're doing great. You're really making a world come together. That's number three. That's number four. Um... God man with the book over his head like a halo. Uh, everybody's cheering him. He's a good person. Probably because they will die if they don't say that. And this one must be number five. He must be number five. Uh, uh oh. He looks less than happy. Hey, look, he's parted the seas. But then there's also fire above the seas on the cliffs. And the sun looks angry. And there's a comet. I think coming down from his right hand and it's gonna burn this oh his son did he cast his son into the starry rift with nothing but a book to save him <laughs> something like that I cast you out take one of my magical books though <laughs> it, may, it may come in handy <laughs> all right so interesting can we look up at the very in the very middle of the room I don't think we can, just from the edges. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much to do. It's just, it's very pretty. I like the recessed ceiling look and the like dome that has all the reflecting, uh, reflects all the stuff down below too. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite pretty. Exquisite. Okay, we are, I think that's everything that we needed from here. Um, let's go across, then we'll go down the stairs later. Let's go across here. Uh, oh. Maybe we should turn around. You never know what you're going to see looking back. Oh, oh my. That's that's a big uh, globe of gold or something over there in the distance that you can only see when you're like kind of far away. Hi. That's like a biggest Pokeball I've ever seen. Super Bowl. I don't know. You got to catch them all. That's what I hear. Okay. There's a little door. Hello. <gasps> this door opens. Why? Hello, torture room oh no 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 actually what this thing looks like uh have you ever had your head massaged with those like curvy wire thing you put over your head it looks really creepy but then when you have it on that's like bliss i never knew bliss uh through my scalp until somebody touched me with one of those things and um and we don't own one it's kind of weird oh uh okay i'm in the seat should I pull the crank? Oh. It, the crank says no. Push the button first. Uh, we have to close ourselves in. It's totally safe. Very super safe. All right, let's pull the button. Oh, my. Did do, do, do the thing? I, I don't know. Push the button again. Push the button. Oh no, it just releases you. Okay, we're we're missing some factor here. 
Uh, but I do like there's stuff here. We can see inside of rooms. I've opened a door to I don't know where. I've never seen this place before. Good job. I solved a puzzle is what I just did. And here there's no there's no lever, so nothing to be had. Okay, anything else in this room? Perhaps behind the seat? I'm taking it as a no. Oh, oh, back in the seat. Okay, we don't know what that one does yet. All right, the whole thing closes behind you as you walk out of it. That's beautiful. Um, Lots of mystery so far. Intriguing, I suppose. Lots of, um, oh, another door. Well, I'm very happy that all these doors are not locked. It's not um, one of those games that prohibits you from looking around. This room looks familiar. I think this is the room we saw that we opened the door to. It's another one of these. They really like these cages. What's this cage do? Can it, does it open? Is that an H there in the middle of the star? Uh, oh no. Oh, what happened here? Oh, maybe it's an offering to this um, fish god? Are you a fish god? Can I touch you? I'm just gonna stroke your scales a little bit here. Oh, that's okay. Can I touch your food? I can, but nothing happens. Um, hey, neat. Thanks for showing me. Oh, hello, other offering. God offering. You both have some tasty food there. Mm -hmm. These uh, prayer wheels or lights? Just look like lanterns. Still uh, neat, neat looking. Um, is there an up to look at? No. I, I like to look at ceilings when possible. Okay, uh, we're going down and out. Oh, uh, this is the other thing you can see. So you get to see both of the places that you saw in that other room pretty quickly. Um, hi, button. Does that do it? Is that called the thing? Did I call the... I see it. I can see it. Oh, it moves fast. This is going to be uh, quite the magic carpet ride. Only it's not. It's tramp. And it can't move while it's doing the animation. That's... That's a thing. Hi. You are tiny. You're a lot tinier than I thought you would be. I thought you'd be bigger and more safe. You do not look too big and safe. Also... We're going to be going backwards the whole time. Hmm. A little bit sketch. Can we go around this area? Like, literally, no. Oh, we can. We can, can go over here. I guess this just lets you see what you're in for. But that's about it. Uh, so, yeah, it's... It's there. I don't want to leave on a tram just right just yet. Let's go back out through the side door. Super fast. Fast. This this clicking and moving, actually, because this game is now old, is real fast. <laughs> oh no, this is right where the game crashed when I tried to play, says Sierra. That's uh that's so sad. Just maybe it was the animation of the tram or something. What a what a nice taster of a puzzle game. And then were you able to ever get it to run after that? Was that just a temporary crash thing happening? Is there nothing here? Oh, hi. Oh. Okay. You need a key. Got it. Well, good to know. I just wanted to make sure we did go down this route before we went exploring. And it's good, because if we found a key, we'd be like, oh, I don't know what key's for. I've never seen a locked door in this whole freaking island. But now we have. We super know where a key might be. <gasps> nope, never did, so now I'm living vicariously through you. Oh, that gives me chills. Thank you. We'll do this. You're going to get all my snarky commentary the whole way, too, which you would have never gotten back in the day. All right. Uh, <laughs> full speed aft, please. Aftward. Oh, is we animate? Oh, 
Ooh, we don't have to go backwards the whole time. They thought of everything. All right. Um, oh, this is just what spins you right round, baby, right round. So then we press this one, and that makes you go forward. Here, I thought that was like a... I don't know, ships have like a, a left to right rotational knob. Wow. This is like the, the fly through and whoa, the fly through and mist, but so much more immersive. Oh, I love this. This place is a really sad, dead island though. I mean, it's pretty, but it's also like a bummer. Not least of which, cause it's all tan and you know how I am with earth tones. <laughs> Okay. Um, Sierra says the commentary is a bonus. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. Sometimes I quit stream and I wonder, did, did I, did I talk too much? Am I, am I annoying? I'm not even one of those people. Like in real life, I don't, I don't just talk, but in a show, if I just didn't talk, if I was just like quietly like clicking while the camera's looking on me, I'd feel weird. Like I'm on a stage right now. I should be doing something, right? Um, what is this? Uh, uh, you, are you a button or something? Oh, hi. Um, eyeball? Can you, do you open? Oh, K-I. That looked like 11, but like weird. Right? Yeah, that's not an 11. That's a KI. Okay. KI. Am I going to have to... I have to open up the, the good old mist notepad. <laughs> like, help. <laughs> um, I'll put a... I'll type a KI down just for shiggles. All right. Where do we find the path that we were meant to be on? There you are. There's so many things that are like just about clicking the right angle in the right space. So I'm kind of a little bit pedantic right now about checking for other camera angles and stuff, making sure that I'm seeing everything the way I need to. Because I feel like I feel like a lot of the game is like hiding stuff in different paths. You know what I mean? It's not, a, it's half puzzle game. It's half Easter egg hunt. That's what I was saying about Mist 1 off stream to anybody who was asking. I was like, you know what? It's an okay puzzle game, but it's a lot of like, look for the thing. And you do what? Okay. I don't know what to do. Well, there's some birds here. They must be eating something. Uh, I say down first, and then we'll look back up. Yeah, we'll go down. Oh, it's pretty down. Oh, hi. Hi. hi? Uh, hello? Hi. Are those like... Are those like plesiosaurs? Interesting. Oh, okay, bye. I didn't mean to freak you out. You're you're welcome back. Hey, your sunspot is none of my business. All right, you could do you. Um, these trees. <gasps> this this was the angle. This was the angle we just saw and missed at the very end. Catherine must be near. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. Okay, we're, we're just going all around town is what we're doing. Seems like we're, we're on a mission. Oh, I can't, I don't have a cursor. Cutscene. What's that up there? It's spinning. It's a spinning tower. Hi. H hello. I don't think they're waving at me. You ever do that? You're like, hey. Hey, I, I don't think you're... Do we know each other? Oh, you're waving at the person right behind me. I'm just going to jump off a cliff right now. 
Okay, so there's there's a person up there. Uh, somewhere up there. They couldn't have just come down, or I would have seen them. I would have seen someone. All right, can we turn? Oh my, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. There's like a whole village. Oh, there's a down. Um, is this a sandbox for kids or is, or is there something? Oh, there are like holes or what? What am I looking at down there? Looks like there's descents. <laughs> I'm gonna spin this knob. Oh, 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 water's coming. Hello. All right. Filled the space with some water. And here's another one of those eyes. This one says DI. We're gonna type that in, too. Because. Never know where that's going to come in handy. Um, so that filled some of it. Can we give it more water? Literally, no. That's all the water we get. Cool. I'm so glad I made part of this rock wet. <laughs> oh, there's a way down from here. Neat. Okay, uh, let's take it. Oh, so the whole land, the whole age isn't um, dead and desolate under the water. It's quite vibrant with life and there's birds. So there's plenty, plenty of life to be had. Just not the island itself is awful. It's very pretty. Okay. Uh, anything up here? Nope, just the ladder. Okay. The fact that some clicks do a half turn, some clicks do a 180 is a little disorienting, but I kind of get it. I wish there was like a different indicator with the hand. Are we going... Are we going in? <gasps> Those aren't holes. It's glassed in down there, I think. Wait, can we not... Hello? Can we not uh, go down there? How do, how do we? It sure looks like it's clickable. Oh, do you need? Oh, I think it's a, um, I think it's a tram. I think you went to a tram system down there. <gasps> Magna, hello and welcome. I heard we were going into holes and came running. <laughs> you could have just said, I heard we were going into holes and came. Welcome. How are you doing? How's your weekend treating you so far? Uh, so yeah, I think a tram needs to be here. And I think trams should always have a call button. And this one does not have a button. It's hard to run while doing it. Practice makes perfect. Eye of the tiger and all of that. Although, I don't know. Tiger stuff related to that kind of thing. From what I hear, it doesn't really work. Tiger balm and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we made this uh, wet. <laughs> I don't know what any of that stuff over there is. It won't let us really get a closer look at it. Oh, that's disorienting. <laughs> that's the same screen, only just like slightly off from itself. It's kind of a dead end until we can figure out how to move the tram more. But good to know that it's there. We can't go down the beach to the beach from here. Oh, I think that's just that whole area is just there for flavor. And then there's up. There's up. We've passed the midsection, right? There's the midsection where we came from the left. We went down first. Now we're going to go up. I'm feeling like I know where I'm going pretty well already. It's not too much complication. This is where they tore all the trees out. In theory, to make many books. 
Are there many bugs here too? What are all, what's with all the bugs? This is the drier part of the area, I would presume. And yet, there's actually something growing here. Uh, left or right? Looks like right immediately goes to a little hut. So I'm kind of curious about that. Can we come and knock on the door? Hi, bug. Hey, yeah, you. Hi. Hello. <gasps> Such pretty wings. Can you... Oh, uh... Okay, bye. I didn't have an option to do anything there. It was just a little cutscene. A little bit of flavor. Um, open sesame. Love it. Okay. We're through. It was not a hut. It is another pathway through to something. Um, very exploratory game here. Very gorgeous. In its own right, different. Oh, oh. Something's going on over there. I want to take a look. Now I don't see it. That bug is back. Or another one of its ilk. We're heading towards something. Is this the rotating top building that we saw from afar? I think so. The rumbling is growing near. Uh, let's go left. Ooh, it's getting, it's getting mighty red. Can I look down and see what's causing the red? We can't... Uh, presumably some sort of lava something. Okay. Well, huh. This is, this is a lot to take in. Hey, it's one of those signal tower things again. Um, more left. I have a feeling this will connect up in a path that we diverged up near the top. Am I right? Yes, I am. Okay. So, good to know. Let's do our third path we did not pick. We'll continue on because there's definitely a right path to go. But there's also this little side corridor this way that I'm curious about. Because this does not go... Oh, get the axe! Get the axe! I need a weapon. It's a mist game, so I need a weapon. <laughs> the axe will not, be, will not be gotten, unfortunately. I played a lot of violent games as a kid. You pick up weapons, use them against the enemies. Oh, there's the dome. That's where we came from. Dome Island. And now we are on uh, Lava Island or whatever this one's called. Oh, hi. Minecart? What is this? What am I looking at? <gasps> it is a minecart. Oh, I can't say no now that I've found this. This is just too much fun. We've already ridden on one tram, and that was a blast. Now I want to do the minecart ride. This whole thing is just a big old Disneyland to me. I don't care who Gat is. I just want to ride the rides. Whoa! It's some space mountain. It, oh, we're going underwater! We're in the tubes! The... Oh. The tubes have a very interesting audio effect. I feel like we are oceanic at the moment. There's a lot of ocean. Is this really the, the, was this really the easiest way to navigate to wherever we're going? Are we on a completely different island again? Have mercy. We're, we're not even finished exploring the last island we were on and we're already on island number three. Oh, it's dark. It's mighty. It's it's a it's mighty dark in here. I prefer the darker games to the bright ones, though. God, I hate when a game like fades to white. <laughs> I like shielding my eyes, apologizing to the crowd. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, a slide. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I in another minecart. What did I slide into? Where, where is this? An even more desolate. I slid into this bucket. Can you even climb back up? I guess there's a there's a ladder up there to get back up to where you came from. Um. All right, well, step out of the bucket, would you? My, where's my down? This way? Okay. Uh, can I just go walking out, making my way? to, I don't know, stony. The 
water here is quite beautiful. Although when it's completely devoid of all life and everything's like dead and desolate, that makes me scared that it's blue because of some sort of chemical. <laughs> like why, why would this be this way? I can hear birds. What about you, do you are you an engine? Do you turn on? Got a big pipe here that you're spitting, spitting out something. I came through a processing thing, I guess. Uh, there's a walkway to somewhere, but first, can we see? Whoa, there's like little flames. This place must be nice and warm inside. It makes me want to go in. All right, let's walk on up. Uh, hello? Do we, is this a button? It's not a button. And the door will not open. So whatever's going on in there, they don't want me to know. Hi, pipe. I do not want to mess with you yet. There's water boiling. There's a boil happening. Uh, I've just diverted water. <laughs> I don't know if that's smart. Doing the divert there. Yeah, no. Okay, well, let's put you back. So I'm not sure what I'm doing just yet. We'll take a look. Water going there. And then something going over there. Let's look at the pipes. Where's that pipe lead? Into the machine. Got it. We want this machine active. Probably. What about down at this? Oh, another diverter thing. Okay. What if we divert there? Does that turn on this engine? Kind of no. There, I feel like there's going to be a lot of fuck around and find out around here. So just bring it there. See what happens. Do we have water here now? Still nothing coming out of my tube. Wait. Wait. That did something. I shot some water out. Where did I send it? Okay. So it went out the, the machine. Did it go out and down this pipe? Is it in here now? I don't think so. I'm not sure what what just happened. Bring this back up to where it last was. If there's another one over there. Oh, that's like a feeder maybe. All right, don't know what happened with that water. Um, Water down. Can I close this back up? There's also something over there, too. I didn't see this switch until just now. Little doohickey over here. Yeah. Um. Oh, a little thing here, too. Yeah. <laughs> There's far too much. Come on. This island has, like, eight different buttons that don't work uh, different levers and stuff already it's a whole like it's just a whole science experiment in a game okay can we get in here no all right so this whole island is made up of nopes can we can we go back out okay thank you there's lots and lots of pipes that lead to who knows where who knows what these different machines are all doing. Okay. Well, um, seems like we're at a dead end then. Like, we'll figure this out, but I also had other places I wanted to explore too. What is this? Something in the water there. Just a rock. I guess we can't actually click on it. Oh, it's fine. Okay. 
Um, can we go back to the last island we were exploring? Because I feel like this is like advanced thinking for us. <laughs> oh, whoops. Not the way we wanted to go. This way. Open! Thank goodness the way back is not blocked. All right. Magic carpet ride. We shall remember this place. It definitely feels like something we could solve with some trials and tribulations. There's just so many switches that all have configurations to them. It's like, how do you even know which ones need to be switched in which order to make things happen? You just have to sit there and switch and switch and switch, which I will get to that phase of the night where I want to do that. Right now is not that phase. Whoa, why are we slowing? Oh, okay. Whoa. We're doing a crank. We're cranking. Right, it can't all be gravity based, right? Sometimes you got to be driven by something until you get the momentum to go over. Oh, or in this case, we're just done. Felt shorter on the way back, didn't it? Felt a little bit shorter to me. Okay, how do, how do we get out of here? I didn't see a ladder. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. Oh, oh, you just press up at the very top of the screen. It seems to work. Okay. Where were we? These doors close on them on their own, too. That's mysterious, isn't it? A game of mystery. A game of mist. All right, we're going to go to the right this time. I like this. This island is my favorite so far. These mushrooms, though. They look delectable. Whoop. Oh, we got turned around somehow. This is where we came down. We're going down and to the right at the fork. Yes. 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 This way. Okay. Well, it looks like there's red here, but it's just lights. Hi. Oh. It looks like another uh, fish deity sort of thing. So these people do seem to appreciate the fish. Hi. Can I um, offer you a um, a plant-based sacrifice? <laughs> Your teeth look like you probably eat plants and not me. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh! What'd that do? What did I... What did... Oh! How did... There's no way I would ever... That was a random wild guess that I clicked one of those stupid orbs for no reason. And now there's suddenly a secret path. I feel like there's going to be a lot of that. I feel like this game is going to have some unfair, like, how are you supposed to know to click this thing? Unless you just click everything on the screen. There's another one of these blue buttons. All right. Um, blue button? Nothing. Okay. Um, up. Is this up? I appreciate the scrape marks on the wall. It's like not everything is made to perfection. Sometimes it's the little imperfections that show. Wait, what was that? Whoa, that's not where I thought we were. What? What a cockamamie path. But we're up in the trees. Feels kind of channel wood. They took uh, feedback from the players of Mist, and they're like, "We like Channel Wood. Could you bring that vibe back? Tall trees and plank uh, platforms and stuff." They're like, "Yes, yes." As it turns out, that our sequel has that. <laughs> All right, there's the left and the right path. We'll go left first. It's gonna lead us to the spinning orb. Hi, spinning orb. Oh, I see something. There's a. There's a sequence going on here, and it's hard to see from where we're standing. Perhaps from here we could see a little bit better. 
Oh, it's like an eye that's opening and then closing. So cool. One of those eyes is gold. Can we click on it? We can, but because it's moving, it's telling us not to. So we have to figure out how to disable that, I'm guessing. All right. On to more of... Uh-oh. The, oh, the tower on the right. Hello. He's looking for someone. I think. Oh, no, he's spinning the thing. He's spinning the tower. And then what? Why? For why do you spin? What? Why spin? Why the spin? What the spin do? Okay. Uh, this is not strange at all. I always put fingers around uh, weird towers in the middle of the <laughs> island's summit. Or the peak. The peak. Hi. We, um, we step on in. This looks like a throne. That looks like that's bone. We're sitting in the throne. Um... It looks like this is a way to somewhere. So hold tight. I just want to look at the rest of the outside real quick. Make sure that there's nothing, no other side paths. We're not missing anything with the stones around you. Okay. Yeah, you, you come up to this thing. This is why we're here. So let's, let's go in. Okay. Uh, always left lever first. Left lever. We're going up. I did not think there was more up to go in this game. But we're seeing more more up. Ooh. It's the Pod Village. We were there earlier. Pods. Hi. Is there a reason we would want to uh, Oh. Um pretty art there. Oh, we're here at the um tubes area again. You come through here on the tubes, but you don't you don't stop down there. I don't think there's anything to see or note here. But nothing that I've been able to control just yet. But we were able to get to the other side of this. And there's a way down, but you can't go down if there's no nothing there. Can we push the other thing here? Oh! We closed something. We closed a platform. Good job. I'm happy. I'm happy we did that. <laughs> All right. Left lever again. All right. We're back down here. Does the right lever do anything down here? No. It's completely disabled. I guess we did something important. Just don't know what that was that we did. Well, let's go back. Is there anything that we can do to stop this thing from spinning? There is this other right path here, too, that we haven't taken. Just go around. Oh. Ooh. Can we look in here? Hi. Oh, it does something way different than I thought. The eye opens and closes in like two different directions. That's neat. Can we slow you down in any way? I mean, cool. I wonder if that pause is actually just the the game takes a minute to um, loop the footage. Uh, well. That's everything we could do up in that direction for now. Is there more up? No. Guess it's down or nothing. Back out to the belly of the fish. My name is Jonas. Oh, wait, it's not Jonas. Jonah? Jonah and the whale? Open. That's not creepy at all. It's actually kind of hip. All right, heading down. There's nothing else to do here. So I guess it's forward. Oh, oh, that's a little kid. 
That was actually a little uh, alarming. Actually a little alarming. Which way did you go, kid? Did you go up this way? I don't see any indications that you did. did you go over this way? I don't see any indications that you did. Um. Well, kid. Don't know what you did or where you went or why. But you did it. Okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. We're in a new place. How do we... How did I get here? I clicked a little fast. Can we come back out real quick? What is this? How do we get here? This is... Oh, there are two forks. We took the left fork, the right fork, and the other right fork, but not the left fork. And over. I thought we came back up this, and I totally thought it was a little Ewok. <laughs> Did it surprise you? It surprised me. I got a little bit of a chill. I know this game's not a horror game, but when I see little kids in games, I immediately think a horrific thing is going to happen to me. <laughs> right, we came through here, didn't we? We did, and we went to the right. Yeah, this was inside the hut. There is no way to stop the hut. We came back out into the left, but we did note that we were supposed to go to the right and see what was down there, and then I just never did. There is more to the island to see yet. These are pretty. Nice wall sconces. Okay. Um, there's an up, and there's a down. Let's go. Oh, I think the up is... Just where we came from. It is. Okay. We'll just go down then. Oh, nice. Also, click to look out upon the, the ocean. I like the water effects. Those probably slowed down a few machines back in the day. Computer was like, ah, what are you doing? Well, half the screen is moving right now. Oh, sound engineers. It sounds like they made this water in a bathtub. Oh, there's somebody up there. There are people scurrying. There's a there's a lot more life here than there is supposed to than what I was led to believe. Oh, is somebody coming for me? Oh, nope. They're taking the kid and running. Kid, no. We're supposed to hide from this guy. Gen said we're all supposed to hide. Sierra says, that's one cool thing I've noticed about Riven. It's less lonely than Mist. Yeah, Mist felt really lonely. I mean, I like multiplayer games right out of the gate anyway. Generally, in my spare time, I like to play more multiplayer sort of stuff. Final Fantasy XIV and Enshrouded and, and uh, Minecraft. But um, Mist felt very lonely because they're the only NPCs to talk to you were like shitbags. <laughs> All right, uh, what is over there? It's like a little something. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's just art. Hi. I feel like I want to click on all the little like random things like these lamps and stuff. Now that one of them turned out to be a door. And these moorings maybe. Okay, so there's another way down. I'm going to guess you also can't go down this one either. They're all like, if there's something here, then you can go down. Which means one of them's got to have the tram. And that's the one that you go down. All right, let's start heading toward our villagers. Maybe we'll actually get to a place where we can chat with somebody and get some more details about what's, what's up. I love all your little pods. It's... Uh, it's a very quaint way to live. Can I enter one of them, please? All right, we're going up. We're in the village. We're officially here. I am. I am among you. Don't get mad. Knock, knock. Will they answer? Or are they scared? Knock. Okay, that one 
does not want to talk to me. What about over here? Oh, oh we were just over there with the, the little half bath thing. You need something on you, it looks like. You're some sort of an altar. You're a drum. Can I play the drum? Let's be completely sacrilegious with these people. It's like a fish drum. I don't know your ways or customs, but I'm going to touch this thing that looks like it's presenting your deity. I hope that's okay if my um, dirty hands get all over it. <gasps> this is the thing. This is probably the thing you need to uh, get down there so that it starts to ride the rails. Let's get it down there. Bye. Godspeed, little. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything to note yet so far. Well, the only notes we have are KI and DI from um, Eyeball Art. Wait, I want to click on these. Are those are these like mobs or something? You won't let me click on them. Yeah, it's like round uh, wooden eyeball things. You click on it and it rotates out so you can see. <sighs> All right. Start to head back. We did something. We did make change happen. Oh, I wonder if they're supposed to be st stingrays or sunfish. Or Yeah, maybe more like a fish. I imagine these people need fishing subsistence because uh, crops uh, doing agriculture here, <laughs> not going to happen. So you eat the seaweed and you have some fish and you call it a day. All right, let's pop down and see if we can knock on another door. Before I try knocking on the next door, I'll wait for the ads to finish for Twitch. Any exciting plans for you all this weekend? Or have you done them? The big thing that we did was go on a nature walk. And then we ate some food. I had some Singaporean street food, which was spicy. Uh, it had both jalapenos and those little black um, roasted peppers that are like kind of crunchy and smoky. And I ate all of the peppers. And I did not go screaming for water. It was pretty hot, but not intense. But I'm afraid of um, using the restroom tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we can't even go over to that guy's door because it's kind of missing the catwalk. Clever. Not too clever. What about your door? Also, no. Um, is that it? I could see other pathways, but we can't actually go go to the people totally looks like we should be it totally looks like they will expand those um yeah catwalks just like this guy but only for like the right person i want to be your right person one two three it's three knocks and then you wait okay it's not <laughs> just making stuff like that um and there's nothing behind you that's even remotely away to any of them. This just leads up to this platform. And then we can see that over there, which is cool. Maybe, oh, we missed this. Hi. That, this looks hot. I've got nothing to do here. I can just see that it is hot from up close. Oh, can I grab wood and add it? I just want to help. I want to, you know, work for you. Welcome, Kit. This place is pretty. It's pretty, but also it's very stony and desolate in parts. So I like the areas with water and foliage, but not so much the sharp peaks and dry dryness of everything else. It's stark. Stark changes, stark differences. Okay, so that submersible down there. Can I... I think I know... It looks like that drops down to where we can get to from the other part of the island. So can we hightail it there? Oh, man. Imagine playing this with load times between screens. You click and it just says 
um, processing, and you're like, oh crap, not here. It's going to be available at the other drop place over there, I think. I think we can get to it, but we have to walk around um, the place. I hope me clicking this fast doesn't bother some, but if I don't have to wait for load times, then I'm not gonna. It was down from here. Oh, hi guys. No, don't make me wait the whole cutscene. Okay, good. You can hit escape and it skips cutscenes. I was like, no way I'm playing the whole plesiosaur cutscene twice for no good reason. All right, down, down. It's dry here again. Why is my little area dry? That still says DI. Dinos go blink. I did blink them. I didn't want to watch the dinos just languish slowly as they hop off the rocks and go swim. Okay. Here? Here. Yeah. Submersible time. Or it's not submersible because it's inside the glass tubes. Can we go in? Nice. Nice. Um, there are too many knobs. I'm nervous. What that one do? Spins us around. Okay. What? Let's go back the other way. doesn't even look like we're looking at anything. Is that a dead end? Do this. And then this. Where are we going? Are we moving? We're moving. Oh, there we go. That was a nice little wipe. So it didn't really look like they were loading a video when they actually were. Well, this one's fun. Uh oh. Uh oh, is there an up from here? Um, signs point to no, because this thing won't un unlock for me. And now the game becomes Bioshock. Oh, heavens. Let's hope not. Because that would be terrifying. Especially given that this, this person does not uh, move very agile. Oh, can we go this way? Do I have to do this to make this go in the opposite direction? Go! Oh, it is going a different way. We're going up to the service. Oh, this is slow. Oh, are we going to the service? Wait, did we do it? That was some weird visual trans transition. Okay, this does lead us out somewhere. Um, very non-intuitive controls, though. <laughs> like, super harsh. Uh, oh. There, we're in water. And we're at some... <laughs> we're at a way up, but it's too... We're not close enough. We go forward one. Will that do it? Will it? That's the end of the line for that one. Can we spin around? I can't even see the track that we're supposed to be on. All right, I think we're heading back to where we started. Unless it lets us stop here and turn. Okay, it does. So then we spin this and this bottom one must be which, which path do you take at a switch? We take the left path this time. Yeah. All right. It's slow. 
compared to all the other fun rail rides we've seen so far. But something. Interesting. I think that effect is supposed to be entering and leaving water. All right, so is this open now? Do we end up somewhere? We do. Where do we end up? Uh oh. I think this is where we <laughs> came in. Damn it, this is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So we made it all the way back <laughs> to where we first got on. Well, you know, good to know. Spin ourselves around. I got turned around at that fork. I thought I knew what I was doing. And forward. Yeah, that wipe means entering water. And we just go forward from here, right? Let's just be able to go forward from here. Thank you, but more forward, please. We do not need to take that fork. Here we come up for air, but this is the one where I think we saw the ladder was like out of reach. Are we right? Why is this the travel system here on the island? Other places look so much snappier and get you to places you need to be. Okay, so that's that's where we want to get out is there. But we're too far from it. To reach. Damn it. Okay, let's close again. And go more forward. Can we? There is more forward. Okay, cool. Oh. So many paths to take. Uh, I guess we'll take the right forward. First, kitty, welcome on in. Hi, how is Riven? Um, it's pretty. It's a lot less lonely. There's already a, a good amount of dialogue and uh, story that have driven us into the understanding kind of what we're doing, where we are. Um, first complaint is that there are some hidden stuff like in Mist, some Easter egg looking. You know, Easter egg hunt parts. And second complaint is there are a lot of... Um, oh, man, we're back at this place again. There are a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? L levers, levers, buttons, uh, toggles, switches. And uh, and to, to get something done requires a combination of several per puzzle. They don't tell you what any of them do. So you, you're just kind of like clicking blind. That, all right, well, I'll do this one. And then you watch and you hope that the visual indicator suggested to you what it was that the developers were trying to tell you it was going to do. And I feel like there's a lot of that. Like, they make you sit and guess, and, you know, you have to press... You have to hit a lever, or press a button, and then write down what it did, where you were, what the button did, what you heard, or what you saw. And there are lots of duds. There are lots of duds. So a lot of what you would write down is, you know, press this button at this location on this island. It did nothing. With the th configuration of all the other buttons being the way they are, because you can also manipulate the configurations of things to be different. To maybe get different results. I feel like we're going to be clicking around a lot and just trying all combinatorics of things to see what the solution is. Because they didn't put it in writing, like, what, what you actually will be, you know, reading. Why can I not? So many of these stops get you out where you couldn't possibly touch the ladder. I'm confused at that part.
Oh, there's no more forward for this track either. It takes to a dead end. You can't get up. And you can't leave. Yeah, I guess what it is, is some people have said you have to be really scientific about this game. But what I think the, the truth is, is that you have to guess. Is there a, is there a, a, a guessing part to science? Of course. You make a hypothesis and then you test your hypothesis and then you see what the results were. But when you make a hypothesis, you don't just make a hypothesis out of nothing, out of thin air. And I feel like this game is science adjacent. They're like, we'll give you things you could guess about, but you get no information about how to how to create your hypothesis. What is that? What's that sound? Is that just my device making that noise? All right, we're at another ladder. Oh, we're at a different ladder, a place I've never been. This is what I was hoping to eventually get to. Okay. Um, neat. Oh! <laughs> what, what do you know? It's five unmarked switches. Why not? Why not? Why not? Maybe those are the ladder switches. And is there any way you could tell? I don't think so. My best guess is their ladder switches. And that's not based on any empirical information. You just stare at the levers and hope you just did something right. Because if I have to make my way back here, I don't know if I can find it. All right. Back, back in. Back in we go. Hello? <gasps> can I not get back down there? What the heck? Oh, wait, up, down, 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 please. Now this down doesn't work. Is that what just happened? Did I turn off the very place I needed to be? Do these all need to be ups instead of downs? Will that make the ladder go all the way? I hope it's a ladder switch. Oh, yeah, now we're in. Okay. Up may be the right orientation then. Um, you know what? I kind of want to do... I kind of want to turn around and see if that's the end of the line for this tube. Or if this tube does have uh, another more forward path to go. Maybe. No, literally no. It was worth a shot. Yeah, maybe I should have been mapping this area, but I've got I got some sense of direction. I have some idea of where we where we go and where we're where we've been. Because from here, there's a path to the right that went back to the way that we spawned in. And there's a path to the left that led to a ladder we couldn't use that led to a dead end. See, I have some sense. I rarely draw maps for games. Unless it's like ridiculous. Like that King's Quest that had the desert. Um... Yeah, pretty much anywhere that has like some sort of a, a labyrinth where it's like you you go one more space this way and you just die or <laughs> something of that nature. Okay, let's open this. Hopefully all ladders lead to Rome now. Okay, we've got this ladder. This one leads to a hut. Hut, hut. Okay, that was dumb. Let's go in. Well, hello. Is this like a skull oh, to the classroom? I mean a classroom. 
Oh, were they playing ha Hangman? <laughs> oh, it's DI. We've seen DI before. Uh, how do you play this game? Oh, there's a fish down there. It is like Hangman. Oh no. That person's gonna die. How do you play this? Oh, when you leave it resets itself. That's unfortunate. There are glyphs on the wall. They look confusing. As a linguist, I can honestly say I don't like the writing system. I do not like this writing system. I really hope learning this writing system is not required to play this game because... Ugh. Ugh. It is not my favorite. Um, what happens when we crank the crank? Oh, hello? Hi. Terekoi Danni. Kibayem Rivat. Avoyem Beetig Tavom. Gabordona Gayem. Yeah. I agree. Uh huh. Who's he looking at? Rom. Rom. Probably means good. Okay, bye. He had a smile on his face like Brom meant good. I, we might be learning words in this language after all. Oh, do we come here and practice writing? Does it look like there's a bucket here you could grab? some chalk and practice <laughs> all the alphabet okay let's actually uh, oh wait there's also this other um, table over here it's food <gasps> it's like a star fruit um, yum, 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 yum. okay we can't eat that unfortunately and there's writing over here somebody said not that letter you did it wrong, and this word's supposed to be this, maybe. All right, there's nothing to click on. Point is, point is, it's a school. I do want to see what happens if you keep cranking this and you don't leave. Oh, it came up with a different glyph. It's like a HH. Can we, should we write HH down just in case? We will. Uh, click again. Which one of you is going to win? There's DI. DI is much less than HH for some reason. Uh oh. But DI is not good for that guy. DI only lopped, dropped the other guy once. Uh oh. They're both bad at the crossed out DI though. It's like seven. Oh, maybe these are numbers. Maybe I should write that down. So, what was that? Like a crossed out HH is like six. Crossed out DI was like seven. And the DI was only like one. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go until somebody dies. Crossed out the eye. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Highest number we've seen so far. Crossed out HH. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Six. He got at. All right, he gets to start over. The other guy doesn't? He's gonna get at. Oh yeah, crossed out the eye. Yeah, he gets that. Okay, there only seems to be like three numbers that come up in this, one, seven, and six. Let's just be absolutely certain here. 
Oh, that's a new one. Three, four. That's a four. So that's like a... <laughs> I don't know what they call these. It's like a I with a little little square. Maybe I'll call it like a lowercase n or something like that. It's like a backwards H. Whatever, that's four. Three, or that's just like I, 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 I guess, is, uh, that was just one. I thought DI was one. Maybe it isn't. KI, two, three. Okay, KI is three. I'm just going to reorder these a little bit too so I keep them in numerical order now that I know we're looking at numbers here and not like letters. See to me the number system. DI. Oh, DI was two. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, a six and a seven. I think that's, that's a good place to stop because there's a five and it it will literally be whatever uh, symbol we haven't seen, <laughs> which means we could probably safely leave. We would have to uh, grind for it. So thanks for teaching us the number system. Goodbye. Might come in handy later. And there is no forward from here, I presume. That would be a correct presumption. Okay. Spin the, spin the system. At least that is like a, a fun, a fun puzzle key. They don't just give you a piece of paper that says, here are the numbers and how they relate to Arabic numerals. That would be lame. All right, from here we go to the left. Uh, it's already marked to go to the left. So that's fine. Left. I think when I complain about stuff in these games, it's usually because everything has been so cool or like I like what I'm doing and what I'm seeing, like the visuals and especially the storyline for these games have been so cool um, to then face like something that I find unfun or just like boring to me. I'm a little harsher about it in games like this. Uh, that are otherwise so lore and visual intense. I don't want the um, the storyline to s to be the only good part of a puzzle game. <laughs> okay, so we we closed this so that we could walk here. I think walking here with it closed is is the good thing. I guess so we can reach this this pole. Otherwise. We wouldn't have been able to reach it. We probably would have been able to go around the outside. Around the outside. But is there any other reason why we'd want the floor closed? What the heck was that sound? <laughs> Alright, let's pull the crank. What'd that do? Whoa! What's gonna happen? Oh, what's coming down? Is it a trapeze? Am I gonna have to like s like sit on this or hold it? Actually, they kind of look like manacles. Wait, what's going on? I don't have my cursor. It. I'm sitting on it. I think. It's like a trapeze. Neat. The conveyances have been rather interesting in this game. More bone, daddy. Love all the bone they use in this. Okay, so that's how you get back down, but we are not yet. We just got here. Under the special catwalk. Oh! There's a person in there. Hi. Hello? It's the guy who had me captive. I think. And now you're the captive.
You stole my book from me. Then you got blow darted. I can't, I can't escape. Oh, there you go. That's it. That was an interesting cutscene. That took us like 30 seconds of watching him just sort of like be asleep. That's it. There's no clicking on him or anything. Okay, neat. Neat. Thanks. Thanks for letting me watch you sleep. <laughs> what about this? What's this do? That is a number. Am I releasing him? Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, I... I we're going we're gonna to take a break. We're going to pause the game right there because... If you're if you're not ad skippable, that's that'd be really sad. Oh, my voice. My voice has texture tonight. It didn't even seem like it was that bad until I started streaming. And then the more I started to talk, I was like, oh, oh my, holy crap. My voice is definitely uh uh compromised. Um I did a jog um more than what did I, maybe a 40, no, it, was, it wasn't 40 minutes, maybe a half hour, maybe a half hour interval, interval jog. And I realized, um, my legs can do an interval jog for that long. It was, uh, more than a mile. I think, um, the amount of distance I traveled, um, for somebody who's almost absolutely sedentary these days in my life. Except like with the kids, you know, I dance and prance and stuff with them and pick them up and rough house and all that fun stuff. They're, they're at that age where that's still fun. Um, my legs feel fine. Honestly, like uh, the, the thing that I thought was the worst was the breathing at the time. So I was like, oh, my lungs are just not used to heavy breathing to do like heavy exercise. So I was kind of surprised at my lack of, abil lack of ability to breathe well. But I was breathing. I was making it through. But now after the, well, after the fact, I feel like, uh, my voice and my throat were affected maybe from the heavy breathing. Uh, but I was doing some coughing and stuff a little bit earlier tonight too. It seems to have passed. So wait, 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 wait. Did we just, did we lose a cutscene or something when I had escaped to, to save the game? What, what's going on down here? Uh, oh, uh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Did the, did the guy? Okay. I, I need a real quick, uh, fact check though, before we proceed. Um, oh no, it's going to close back up again because I clicked out. Did when I opened this guy's prison door, did I lose a cutscene when I hit escape? Because the only thing I thought I skipped was the door opening. But did the guy, does the guy actually come out and like do something or say something? Or did he just like run away? If he just runs away, that's fine. I just want to make sure I'd, I didn't miss anything right there. Uh, Sierra asks, do you pace your breathing with your steps? That's the biggest thing that helped me with jogging. Breathe in three steps, breathe out three steps. Yes. So, uh, you would not believe it if you saw me run today, uh, except maybe for the, the pacing and, and sort of like the, the body, uh, move, movements that I do, but I used to be in both cross country and track. And so that was something that came naturally back to me. Like don't run for a long, long time no matter my arms still know like the the arm movements you know i'm not doing the like you see some people who never run their arms just kind of like wiggle they don't move them they're not pumping they're not getting the blood flow um so my arms naturally fell into a rhythm my feet were doing the thing so i'm not getting like a uh, heavy impact like plod 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 steps you know you're kind of trying to like cycle through your your leg movements so that you're not um not slapping the pavement with your feet. I was wearing boots too, so I didn't want to like run, run. Um, cause I, we didn't go out with the plan of I'm going to go on a jog. Um, and I was definitely breathing in and out in pace with, yeah, you take, 
you take a breath in with so many steps, you take a breath out with so many steps. Uh, Kit says, it is in through the nose and out through the mouth, isn't it? If you can, <laughs> if you're doing like light, light exercise, I was in a rush. I pushed myself a little harder than somebody who's almost completely sedentary should. Um, and I was unable to keep my mouth closed when breathing in. I needed to suck in big air. So, uh, but yeah, generally something like that if you can. <laughs> Sarah says, personally, I'm a mouth breather because my nose is way too small. Uh, but I know a lot of professional runners breathe using, uh, even only using their nose. Yeah, I mean, if you can, if you could do nose in and out, ultimately ideal. Um, if you have nasal issues, that's usually something that um, is good to look into trying to fix if you're getting into um, running. But uh, it's also, you could just use your mouth. It may be not the ideal, but it's even less ideal to decide I'm not going to do exercise. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I don't know where what we're doing or where we're going. And I don't know what happened to the dude. So if anybody, uh, if anybody sees... I don't want to look at the walkthrough because I'm afraid I'm going to, like see something I didn't want to see but if anybody sees when you release the prisoner from the prison or I guess he's the jailer because he was the guy that had me in prison first at the very beginning of the game uh, is there supposed to be a cutscene where you see him escape or something like that because I might have skipped it by accident Sarah says sometimes I will breathe in some bursts through my nose if I can but it doesn't really feel like it gives me that much of a boost yeah I wouldn't say it's a boost thing um, I just think it's like ideal for the body I have no idea where I'm going. I'm clicking on total blackness right now. Oh, 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 it's pretty out here. You just had to click black blackness a few times. And there looks like there's a lever. Oh, it's a light. Does this light up the rest of the way behind me? It might. Here's another thing that I think we missed. It's another light. And another. Oh, this is so much nicer. And another light? Wait, wait, wait. Go back. No, no, no. Come back. I saw another light. Right here. Right there. Yeah. We're going to find a secret room that we passed up. With all these lights on now. Is there another light over here? My hand can't seem to find anything. All right, that's fine. Um. Okay. So that's neat. Is there really just, is there nothing that we uncovered with all these special lights on? Oh, there's a door. Yeah. All right. We just need to come down the other way. These lights are already on. Oh, it gets darker. Oh, okay. It's not, not that bad. Oh, we found something mysterious. Uh, Sarah says, I've heard that your brain can get better oxygen through the nose. Hmm. But I'm not sure about the trade-off there. When I can take a bigger breath through my mouth, I do believe nose breathing is correlated with lower heart rate. Yeah, it might, it might lower your heart rate a little bit more. Uh, what nose breathing might do, the mouth breathing might not do as well nose breathing might allow your uh your more of the air to go straight to the lungs and uh reduce the the possibility that you might gulp air which if you gulp air while running might make you feel sick or weird and divert some of the air that you had intended to breathe in to a place that's not your lungs so you're not getting that to oxygenate with i could see i could see some arguments um but for somebody who's rather out of shape like myself, the nose breathe would probably just result in me not getting enough of the thing that I wanted to get. <laughs> just air. Knee freedom. Free, free doom. Ah, hello and welcome. We are, uh, we are into Riven, but tonight's our first night playing. Um, we've only been doing it this for like two hours. 
So I feel like we've seen a lot, but we haven't we haven't solved a lot. We don't know a lot about. Uh oh, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I touched it. I have no idea which one of these ought to be touched or not. But um, now I know that one can be touched. <laughs> Uh, we don't have the key or the clue to this place at all, so we'll have to come back here and figure it out. We can't even approach the thing back there to see what's going on, but it's a matter of picking animals. How am I? I'm I'm tired, but I'm pretty good. I uh, I was unexpectedly a lot more active today than I usually am. And, uh, and my body is still trying to reconcile from all of that. But I was really excited to start this game. We're actually playing through the entire Myst franchise. We beat the first game last Saturday. And every Saturday, until we beat all of them, we'll play through the entire Myst everything. Um, almost exclusively with no hints. I, th I think I got very, very slight massaging in the last one. But we mostly did it without having a hint with anybody. Is there something else there? Kind of look like a weird block in the wall. Probably not. No, I guess not. It's just look like that thing there had something to go. Something to do. Okay, so we know that there's, we know that there's something uh, down there that will involve like animals in a sequence or a, a, a set, like maybe three animals you touch, you move the stones and it'll, it'll open up something for us. But we haven't seen what the key to that is just yet. How about yourself, Nee? How's everything in your world right now? Okay, so prisoner is free. I don't think we need to close that prison anymore, but that, that thing is there. We'll go over here. We haven't walked down this path yet either. We take a look and see. That's just pretty much the same view we've seen so far. All right. Well, let's head down. Oh, I think we've been here before, but this was not active. So this is a shortcut back to... We've been through this path before, yeah. Well... We just freed some dude. Can we go back to the village? Is he one of these villagers? Maybe we'll knock on his door and he'll be like, Oh, hey, thank you so much. Not that we can understand each other, but is it you? Is this the one where you live in? Hello? How many knocks does it take to get somebody to answer around here? I think if you get your cursor back, he's not going to answer. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Somebody, somebody did. Can we be persistent? I know you're there now. Now I don't want to give up. You did the thing that led on that somebody's hiding in there. I thought maybe I was only able to knock on one door and that nobody was home in that one door. I'm gonna bug you until the cows come home. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Well, it was worth a shot. I think that was just an Easter egg, to be honest. And then these ones, we can... Whoops. These dudes will not just release their bridges for anybody. We have to find some way to get them, get their trust or something. Okay. Um, don't suppose he'd be up at the, like, cool place, the altar thing? Don't suppose he would. 
just thinking of places we might find the dude if he were free where would we be able to reconvene but I think he noped out okay well getting up to that place will now not require the mini game with the whole water device the water device is cool it's just slow and I don't really want to do it Whereas this is a lot nicer to navigate up around here. Um, I don't suppose we've done anything that's going to change that spin. Nah, the spin's still spinning. Spinning its normal spin. So, I don't know that there's anything to solve for with that. I guess the next answer is to go to the other... Um... The other islands. We've done just about everything we can here. We didn't get a key. We still only have our book. So going back to that first island is kind of like pointless, I think. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything to go back to the first island for. Not yet. Not until we get pissed off. <laughs> we we tried everything on the islands that we did get to. Can we skip this cutscene? Oh, that's really nice. Okay. So, fast travel basically exists in this game. Alright, so what we do know about this place is that there's a series of tubes. It's like the internet. A series of pipes, I mean. Um, so we're gonna navigate. What we want to do is probably turn on that machine there. I'm so glad I can gesticulate with my cursor in this game. When we were playing Mist, the cursor was all wonky and it wouldn't point where I wanted it to. Uh, so to get the water there, first we have to get some water. And then we have to decide where it's getting routed to. I also kind of want to figure out where that third pipe goes. Actually, where all of them go. Because there's a pipe here too that leads to down? I guess it leads under and leads it makes it hot oh it hasn't been hot for a while and this thing isn't on oh. we just solved the puzzle by leaving the island alone and coming back to it later <laughs> okay so apparently it was just too hot to be inside of here uh, this just looks like I'm inside of a boiler it's super dangerous looking place to hang out um, but yeah boiler room cool uh, can we go down this ladder, please? It is a ladder, right? That's weird. So, there's nothing to do in here? Why did we go through all the trouble of getting in here? If there's, if we can't go... It's not even clickable at all. <sighs> Alright. Well... I thought we did something really cool, you guys. And now I'm thinking maybe not so much. Um, all right, so you can get in there. Wait, where's the diverter pointed? At the third one. Okay. So I don't even know why you need... Oh, there's also this other way that's okay so the pipe actually comes up and then hard for me to tell if this is the same pipe the angles are funny can we back out okay so it's this pipe with the diverter so you can either divert it to the right or to the left the right goes up for something for the for this chamber and then the right goes to this this just looks empty what the heck is this one for uh gas gas maybe i can't even see what that one connects to that one also connects to down below and to up above like trying to get camera angles so I can see this stuff. Turn around. 
Now it doesn't even look like there's any pipes coming off of the top at all. That doesn't seem to make any sense. Oh, it just goes up to like a lantern? Is that it? Okay. Something like that. Uh, so the water can either go up, up, or down. I mean, up or to this, like, dead end, I guess. Um, and then the last pipe goes, who the hell knows where? It's, like, way up and out. This is where the ladder went. Is that right? Do do. There's a ladder up to there. The pipe just goes off to BFE. That last one, it's it's going in there. I forget if we could go up this ladder. Oh, we could, but it hits a dead end at the top. Um, can we walk over to the pipe at all? Literally, no. The only way we'll ever find out where that pipe goes is if we get access up that um, uh, manhole. So, yeah, it looks like it's just going up and over and out of this whole area entirely. That's some sort of observatory tower. It'd be really cool to be able to get access to that. I guess we really do want to see what happens if we can get water over to this machine, though. But maybe it first it needs to be boiling because it's a steam sort of thing. That's going to be my guess. So this has to be... This has to get water first from here, maybe? Or it, pump, it pumps water out? I'm not quite sure what to expect. I think this needs to be turned to the left. Okay, yeah, that starts to fill with water. So something is a pump. Maybe the thing out in the water is a water pump? And then this needs to start to boil, which is this. That didn't seem to do anything. Um, did it at least turn the gas on? Oh, no, it's working. Yeah, we see the water boiling. Water be boiling. I thought you'd see fire at the bottom, though, because you used to when you first walked up. Oh, no, it's not doing it. Um, water's boiling. What did this do? Anything? Sends the water back the other way. Or what? Where does that water go? What does moving that do? The water doesn't come out of it. Plugging it back up, it fills with water again. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is it going to get hot again? The gas is already on, right? Yeah, it's boiling. So, the round wheel makes it go away. What does this do again? Anything? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Who knows? Who knows what it could possibly do? Okay, there's boiling water in there. What happens if we hit this? While there's boiling water. Anything? Does that do anything? It makes a noise. Something's dropping? Not the water level. What dropped? What is that? What does that thing mean? Ah, oh, fucking cryptic game. <laughs> All right, that thing is down now. Make the water go out again? It's gonna go, right? And we're gonna... Wait, now it doesn't go? 
Can we get water over there? Is it going to be hot water? Is it going to be any water? Does this thing not receive water? Does it have to get pumped from that station? Okay, the flames are on again. <laughs> no, I made the flames come on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, it says hot and you can't enter. Which is fine, because when we entered, we couldn't do anything in there anyway. Um, I want to leave that down, I guess. I don't want to bring it up for any reason. Do I? What does it do? Now it doesn't do anything when you lift it back up. See, when we left it, pushed it down, it did something, something went down. That we can see here. But I don't know what that is. This is cranked. Do we divert this back? And then will the water disappear? Because this thing's open. It will not. We have to close this. Do we hit this again? I don't know what that does. It doesn't seem to do anything. Now we have boiling water and I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, this won't work because the water's not uh, aimed in this direction anymore, right? That's what it is, right? Bring the water back. Whoa, where am I going? Not the right way. Up, over. Crank? Oh, it's, is it back at the top again? It is. Now it's going down. What does that mean? Can we... Okay, so now it went down. Can we release? Will the water go out? It will not. We go up. That goes back up. Okay, that thing is up. Well, I don't know what that did. <laughs> I don't know what this thing does. Or what the other thing does. Um, I know how to get water in here. I'm not sure how... I think I know I'm getting it to boil. Turn that back on again? Off again? That turns it off. That turns it off. Okay. So we like it. We like it on. We want the boiling water so that we can um, create a steam engine somewhere. Get that flame back. Flame. Flame. All right. It's boiling. Get the flames doing the flame thing. But I'm still not getting what this tube is or what this bar is the bar moves a thing inside but I can't tell what that thing is it's up and then it's down I don't know what up versus down means I'm trying to like look through a really thin window at just what the hell I'm looking at this looks like some sort of platform in there. And then let me turn this again. Let's do anything, anything at all. Not that I could tell. Well, maybe when it's connected, will it allow me to shoot the water somewhere else? This one's not working. It's not on. I don't know that it needs to be on. Move it this way. Nothing. No indication that water's leaving. In fact, I bet if we looked, all the water would still be here. It is. 
This... I don't understand the tube thing at all. I don't know what it's connected to is part of the problem. You don't, you don't get an angle on the tube thing. It's connected to a pipe. Is that what drain? Is that what brings the water in? So maybe it doesn't. Well, huh? Uh, I wish there was another part of the island that I haven't explored yet because <laughs> this puzzle sucks. Oh, you can look up. You can look up here. There's a lantern. This must be must be a water pump. This thing must be a water pump. <laughs> All right, we'll move the thing back down again. Oh, it doesn't go back down while this thing is up. Do we then hit this? That's in the water somewhere? It's not sending the water somewhere. Why is this thing not going down now? I didn't do anything. Oh, maybe that should be diverted over there. Does that send the water out? Also, no. Diverted to the area I would think it would need to be. This, this needs to be powered by, by the water. Is that right? No. <laughs> I need it either. Or does it need to be powered by the water, but only when this thing is open? No. Now it's like dead. Does this need to be open? that part of it or is that closed that's closed that doesn't do shit i don't want it closed i want to want the water hot right well water's cold now wait this thing will open again but there's water in here right there is water in here yeah now there's water Wait, how come I can look down here now? That now that there's water. Oh. Am I in wa water? No, I'm not. I have a different camera angle on everything now. Why? Well, I can see down there. But why? Why do I need to be in here in the first place? Because that's what it looks like with water in it. Now, can we get the water back out? I don't, don't remember what the combination of things was to empty this. At least you can, oh, you can skip all of these animations. That is so nice, actually. Does this need to be on for you to do this? Okay, it's boiling again. Now that thing won't work for me at all. I don't know what you do to make that thing work now. Do we need to divert the water off? Is that what it is? Oh, it is diverted. Maybe the water needs to be on in this direction. To get this to work. All the water disappeared. I got rid of all the water. Now can I divert it over to here? It's hot. Wanna work wanna start this thing now? Literally no. Can we go inside the room now though? Or is it still hot? It's still hot because the gas is still on. Let's turn off the gas. 
go in the room. It's suddenly cold enough. And there's no water. And the switch is up. It's going to be different now, right? A third way to see the room. Right? I don't know why we care. Okay, now we could go down. Uh-oh. Crap, it's dark. Uh. 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 Okay, we're seeing something. We're coming back out of... Somewhere. Hello? What the hell? Hi. Click. Click. Nothing? What did I come all this way for? Oh, okay, you can go down. Where am I going? Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh, there's a path. <gasps> I'm up high. Oh, I'm up real high. All right. Keep going this way. Is this how we get here? I did not think this would be the way we would end up arriving at this location. Well, we're up at that other place now. There's the manhole. Open it. Then we have a shortcut here. Is that all of all that that was there for? Was just as a secret way to get into this area? I thought there was a puzzle so that we could start up another machine with the steam or something. I think I was trolled. Hello? Hi. Fans, pulleys. What is this? What are you? What are you? Hi. Um, do I put some of you in there? Boop. One, fl what floor one, please? I don't know how you work this. <laughs> Did we do it? It wants more than one. Um, no. So confused. Close. Do we just hit the switch without one? No. Oh, hi. I don't know what all that's about. Okay, let's try this again. One pebble. Stick it in the middle. It's weighted. It's doing something. Doing something different. And we click. And then we get out. Nothing. Why is it nothing? Um, is there something stuck? Not where I wanted to go. Is the fan there? Do I need to do something with these little pebble dudes? Whoa! It snaps shut on me. Alright. Um, we can put these anywhere else. Just curious. Just dumping them. It's gotta be inside of there. It's gotta be something. Why? What else would that happen? And then you crank the crank. It needs water. I bet you. That's the puzzle. That it needs it. Now this needs to be fueled. So we go back all the way across. Over here. Put the water exactly where we need it. Right over there. Now that thing's going to be so watery. <laughs> and it's going to fuel the engine that does the thing. Otherwise, why would you have the manhole cover? Unless you need water power for this. Right? Sure. Do it. Ahaha! I am the superior tactician. I don't know that that's the case at all. I've just lucked out so many times. Okay. Um. 
then what? Oh. Hi. This fan, you could get awfully close to it. That makes me anxious. I would try to turn off the fan, perhaps? Or is there a way to? Oh, why are we up? Why are we climbing up on stuff like this? Alright. So... I don't know. Do we crank it back up again and somebody will give us something? <laughs> like, hey, I sent you my orb. Please respond. And they come back with a key for the island one to open the padlock. They didn't give you anything. Why didn't they give you anything? You can still come up here, even with the the orb down. So it's not send the orb down so you can have it away. See, Sierra, I think like a good game designer. I know what I'm doing here. I have plans that make sense in my mind, at least. Okay, so this thing went down. I don't know how to turn off the fan, so I'm not gonna bother. Doesn't look like there's a way down out here. Is there something that if we leave, go down the manhole, we're gonna see it at the bottom? Like, oh hey, it's our friend. Orb is out. Chilling with us. No, it's definitely like inside of something. Why send it so far away that you can't even see? What happens to it? Hmm. So it's it's doing a something. So if that if that can we still make it up here? Oh, we can. That's nice. Can we get to a place where we see... Wait, what is that? Uh, it might just be for show. Um, like an air duct that's over this building. I don't think it's going to let us go there. Unfortunately. Because that fan... Feels like it's running for a reason. <gasps> what if while the orb is down there, we then say, all right, now you get no water and we turn it off and we disable it with the ball at the bottom. I don't think that makes any sense that that would be our goal. <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway. But get over there. These load times, man. Okay. Hit the thing. Wait, does it not even... Oh, it won't even move now? It's completely frozen. Interesting. We can still get up here. So no water power here does not change this fan. Why do we, why do we want to get so close to this fan? I feel like it's because we're going to climb in into that duct also I didn't know there was an angle here that's interesting okay the lever just will not work refuses to work entirely there it's also this weird angle here but I don't think I think literally anywhere you click will send you away Nothing there is actually interactive. And I feel like we can do nothing with that, with this, while well, the thing is down. Yeah, we need to turn it back on again. Sarah says, hate it when people ignore my orbs. Sometimes you got to just stop and contemplate the orb. Does everybody know that meme format? All right. Now this is powered again. Fan still does nothing different. It is the same fan. 
All right, go back down. We can then move this. And the orb is the same. Absolutely the same. <sighs> so, down has to be the only thing it can do. That's the only special situation in here is down. That means we're affecting something else that we can't see, almost certainly. What that something is, no clue. Is it this now? Will this last thing work? Why have three positions? You're not gonna use all three. Maybe only while that thing is in the down position will this actually function. Maybe that's just a green, a green, a red herring. Maybe it's just a red herring. There's also that long catwalk up there. How do we even begin to imagine how to get to that catwalk? Or is it, or is it even anything? All right, can we move this back? I don't know if this does, if having this thing powered is important in any way. this does that allow for the water that's how you get the water in it's pumping up from the lake into there well that goes on if i turn this off or if i open this the water goes back out somewhere So maybe that pipe I'm looking at isn't a isn't a water pipe. It's like a steam diverter or something, some sort of power. And this alone is water. So I don't I don't need the boiler for anything. I think we're done with that part of the puzzle. So then why does this even have a diverter to this machine? Did I miss an on switch somewhere? Where's your on switch? That almost looked like an on switch. I got so excited. I was like, it's right here. But it's kind of funny looking. Um, why? Why have power for this thing at all? Whoops. Didn't mean to click all the way behind it. Maybe this whole engine is just a red herring because it feels like it should have something way more overt like a big lever it just doesn't all right nothing overt there i feel like we did the bo everything that the boiler needed of us um So then, how do we get up there? Can we see it from here? We can. It looks like it would be to the left of here. That's the way back out. Should be another way. This way. This way should lead somewhere. This way should be like a tram. But it's not. It's like broken. So we could go through here. So how do you go through here? You disable the fan and then you can go. Well, how do you disable the fan? Fan is disabled by... I have no idea. <laughs> Look up. The, the thing here is not related to the fan in any way. The fan looks like it's got a power cable on it. Can we look up at all that way? This is like 
power alongside the duct. Ugh, come back around. You can't click on the power. And there's nothing being diverted to this right now. But whether it's diverted or not, because this doesn't work, right? Whether it's diverted or not, the the uh, fan's still going. There's nothing else that we can use in our inventory to replace one of those um, little BBs or balls with. So it's not like uh, Indiana Jones, don't use the thing that's there, use something else type action. It also looks like there's a fourth, there should be a fourth direction, but maybe that's in and then the other three are out. Maybe it's like nuclear energy and that's a cool, cooler inside of there. Um, it's really hard to get past, there we go. So we'll power it again. Come back up. This is all powered. This is all powered. I hear flies when this comes up. That seems weird. Why do you hear flies for a hot minute while this is going, while this is arriving up? Is there something here? Does this stop? No. You click on anything in this angle. Ugh, everything you click takes you up to the duct. It's fine. It definitely looks like going in the duct is the idea. This is a big stick. This is... Okay. What if... We take this out. Close it. We hit the lever. Go away. Empty. Have we tried this yet? Did we try this? Take it, send, sending it down empty? Does that bring something here? No. Does that change the fan? No. What the hell? <laughs> Why are these things? Why does this game let me do all this stuff with no, it gives me no indication of what I just did? Can't use the BBs while the, while the orb is gone. Something should travel down this pipe like a tram, I would think. One, one might think. Uh, let come back up. Do we still hear flies? I don't think that's flies. That's supposed to be the sound of the cable that it's connected to. All right, it's back up. And there's nothing in there. Um, you can only place one, and you can only place it in that dish. Right in the middle. Right like that. It changes some lighting on things, but I think that's just a continuity error. These don't go anywhere else but inside the middle of that dish. There's nothing else I have that can be placed on the dish. Once you put one on the dish, you can't grab any more. That's got to be part of it. You can't orient the lever in another direction. It only points up. It, you can't pull it down or anything. So... There's no clickable on the fan. There's no clickable from the above the fan screen. Just don't know. There's no indication of what we're doing being useful in any way anywhere else. Because we don't know how to get the fan to stay off. We can come back this way. This feels like... 
not the right path. Oh, we can't even go back in the um, pipe anymore. I mean, not that I really want to, but oh, maybe there's a secret <laughs> hiding in there. Um, yeah, this path is now useless. Seems entirely. There's no other. There's no other traversing anywhere else. I like secrets. I think if they had a secret along that path, that would be pretty rude too. There's definitely a building over there that we want to get to. It's right there. Right, right, right there. Something. Um. Jeez. I feel like I'm pretty well caught right now. Does anybody have any soft hint for this area? I don't think there's anything we could do along this beach to find where the bottom of where that orb goes to has any effect. the orb goes down it has anything to do with this pipe system at all i feel like this pipe system is like a one one time deal yeah it's nothing that's just a loop I totally thought for the longest time that you'd boil water in that in that big building and then send it through the pipe to other things. That's just not the case. I can look down. Don't know why you need to, though. It's got to be isolated to this area. Nothing else around here is linked in any way this pipe is where the energy comes in so that's how you disable the orb the pulley to the orb but this thing itself can't understand it's not evident at all what it's used for it's not connected to anything we can see except the pulley we we can look at the duct close but it doesn't explain very well why Rush, hello. I hope somebody in chat has snacks for you. I am once again going uh, less snack to uh, keep my caloric counts well counted. And reclaim my body. It is good to see you. How goes things and stuff? How does stuff go also? Not just the things. I want to know about all this stuff. Oh, mercy, mercy me. I don't know at all. I'm at a loss. I might just, um, I just have to leave the area and look to see if there's literally anything else I haven't done yet that I can do. Some other puzzle that's possible. There's still the spinning room with the uh, eye eyeball art. Can we leave this open and hit the thing? <gasps> you can leave it open. You can leave it open. 
What happens if we leave it open? I never tried. I never thought about leaving it open. Does anything happen? Oh, didn't hear anything different. Did they eat the pebble? They did not eat the pebble. <laughs> okay, so you can send this thing down. With nothing in it. And with something in it. Send it open or closed. And stay open. No pebble. Is that too <laughs> Back up. Maybe if I give them no pebble, they'll be mad. You didn't put the pebble in. We're so mad at you. Here's a secret note. Nothing. Nothing changed. Uh, pressing that seems to close it no matter what. All right. And I can't go down there myself. It totally looks like a tea tea strainer. <laughs> I wish I could grab onto the rope and just drop down with it. Like, kind of want to know what's down there. You know what I mean? Or we drop it somewhere. I'm gonna have to explore something else. It's a thousand percent non evident what happens. All right, minecart it is. We'll go back to. Wait, how do we get up? Okay, we're we're back on the previous island. Maybe go back to the first island and figure something out from there. Here we go. Okay, bye. We go all the way through here recently. Wait, there's another guy there. Doing the spinny tower thing. Will he always do that? And he's waving. We saw this before. We saw this cutscene before. So this is a repeat. But it makes me wonder, like, why? Why can we... Why do we get to see that happen? Why do we get to see it happen more than once? That thing's back up again. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I've solved for that now. I don't need that conveyance. I also never figured out what the heck this was all about. Why do you get to fill this with water? It does that. It's supposed to be a map of the island in some way or like no idea what I'm actually, why I'm looking at this. Okay. Well, point of the matter is we don't need the conveyance system anymore. For anything, I think. Because we saw everything we needed to see interacted with everything. I think. I hope we don't need to do that puzzle again. All right, go up, go back this way again. Start to backtrack some of the older areas to see if there's anything else we might be missing or know now differently. Now that we've acquired some extra knowledge. Okay. Um, let's spin this around. Let me skip the cutscene. 
cool. Forward. We haven't seen this way back yet, so I'm going to leave this cutscene play. This will be our first time back to the first island again. Maybe the Jailer will be back, because that's where he was when we first met him, and then we freed him. He could be there. This is so cool. I want one of these. Drive between me and Sanchez's house. On... On a rail tram? my cursor won't you thank you okay there's more of these no idea what these blue buttons are but you can press them um, there wasn't anything over that way all right I remember that door being closed closed on me since I left the island oh he wasn't there before Maybe we were supposed to go back to the first island again. Hi. Bye. He's just just staring at me. Like a perv. Felt like felt like I was being st stared naked. Okay, there's n no way to Well, now I know what that platform is. It's like him trying to show himself off like a god. It was just some old dude. He's just a humbug, like the Wizard of Oz. Alright, we were... Traversing in here. There's this room. With the scalp massager. This is where he sits, he does his messages. I get it now. And then this, what does this do again? You can close the door. And you can do a message. Right? He can watch his congregation come from the other island. From over here, he gets to see the tram. There's the tram. He knows, all right, my tram people are here. He closes the door behind them. And then, bada boom, he does a message. Let's do a message. Oh, do I have to hit this? Bring all this stuff down. That's a microphone. It's like an old school microphone in front of you. And then you do this and you talk. Speak. I'm talking. Is anything happening at all? I don't think so. Okay, this has to be down. And then something is going. There's a thing that's on. Can we click the microphone? Or anything around me? What happens if we click the button while the thing is on? It turns the recording off. Okay. Well, we left that on. Can we go back to that area and see our own recording now? You can't go through that door now. I'm just kind of curious if um, we recorded ourselves now <laughs> that we were in there. Well, I don't like leaving that door open. Or sorry, the door closed. So let's open the door again. I'm glad you can skip through so many of the um, the cutscenes for uh, animations. That's a really big help, just for the sake of time. Okay, so then we're a native. We come through, and we'll see a different person's face. Oh, now it's not going to play it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, this time we're going straight. Uh, we saw everything in this room, I guess, we, well, we still haven't gotten through to that door, 
the only way to get to that door is to be able to press that button. Um, oh, this is a confusing room to click through. To press this button, but then be on the inside, or press a button similar to that on the inside. I didn't see a button like that in here. Maybe there is. Be hiding next to this door, perhaps, or beside one of the scarabs. Uh, I think I would have seen something. We explored this room pretty, pretty heavy detail before. And then why do you get to close and spin this room? You close it. You can't walk through, but you can peep. You can peep. Why do you get to peep? Maybe because you're supposed to see something in these? Like it, you're looking at two specific scarabs? You do look at two specific scarabs. This is the one, if you're looking down at the... I don't know how I'm going to remember this, because I'd have to be able to get good camera angles on this. But um, it's like two feet on this symbol on the floor is kind of pointing um, the right right foot is pointing at this thing and then the other one skip the animation wait what it went back to a different orientation wait what why can we not open this door I don't remember seeing this orientation. It's because I pulled on these that you'll get like a different um, one of these must like depending on which scarab you pulled open last. Maybe you get a different ending or a different opening. Okay, so ugh. just looking at the thing on the floor. God, it's in such a bad angle. I can't see hardly anything. It looks like it may have to be this one. Did these not light up anymore? Oh, it does. You just have to click on it. There's the there's the overman. So you click on these. Does any one of them allow you to open the door? There's another orientation. Okay, so there aren't feet on these. They're like all... I'm just supposed to see certain scarabs. Oh. I think I might get it. You might have to wait until you can open up this other side door here. Which is... Feebly padlocked, but you know, our dude is not combat combat oriented. Okay, this leads it back to where we just had it. So there there are actually a couple other orientations than we thought. Um the major point is we don't know how to get any of these doors open. This stuff probably tells you something, if you can read the language. And no, I don't think the scarabs actually have a secret. Okay. Um, we'll go back to starting area again. Maybe see something over here that we couldn't see before. Is there anything with this? I feel like we didn't experiment with this enough. Oh, what about you? Hmm. Nope. I would not have brute force this. Um... Just a big cliff. This feels like 
something has to happen with this guy. Or maybe it's just for funsies. What is that noise? Back up. Like, where is it even being fed from? Let's see. It, it's a button and it leads down to this machine. Can we get to the other side of the machine? Can we see anything about it? Hardly. The angles are all awful. But it looks like the machine's powered by some tube that goes right into that <laughs> other building that we were playing around with. We can always go back inside of our <laughs> prison. That's fun. I don't know that there's anything we can do. Oh. Can look down quite a ways. There's a lot of just like you can look out and see the world. And I, I can respect that. You know, they worked hard on building this. Probably want to be able to show it to you from all sorts of different angles. What if we got this angled in the way that it exposes that other door and then came around to the other end? So not that orientation, but um, this one where you can see over there. That looks like that should just be the other side of this walkway oh this one does go kind of down it's up there i could see the walkway up there i can see a couple walkways up there maybe if the camera angles are telling what it, what looks like the truth if we go what like there can we see it i saw something from one angle this one this looks like where it might lead to up there at the top because I didn't really or I kind of forgot there's all of these steps down so we come in here and we see this door there yeah I want to get in there but how maybe you have to click on these in a certain order um maybe all right, if we're looking at the gate, there's kind of like an order to the story, right? That's that's like that's like got to be the last of it. <laughs> Him getting all punishy. This looks this looks like maybe more the beginning. This would be taking some pretty wild guesses to look at these and figure out exactly what was going on here in a certain narrative timeline, pulling them in what be perceived as an order. I would hope it would just be like in a circle. That would be it. That would be five. But I don't think that's going to open the door. I think something else entirely opens this door. It's probably not related to where we are. Just <sighs> awful. Also, there's a mark on the floor that looks like a number, but it's not a number that we have written down. Maybe it's the number zero. You know, a lot of deific things in old cultures are related to the concept of zero okay um god 40 minutes left not sure what those buttons are for 
Do they call this thing if if it's not near? Maybe that was it. All right, we're going to skip cutscene here. We've already seen this travel. I don't know that there's anything else we can do here. I really don't know what these blue buttons do. Make sure we still have our uh, fast travel available in this. Oh, hi. Are we looking at the dude up there on the tower? Oh, yeah, we are. I don't know that we've seen this. This tower's um, cutscene, have we? I guess they're all kind of the same sort of thing. Like we don't know what does what they're what they're doing. <laughs> Except this thing is still spinning, right? Yeah, we don't know how to stop that from spinning. ladder up there we go yeah this is the shortcut to the cool thing over here but we don't have any answers for what the animals are that we're supposed to set for the secret in that area I was just trying to make sure we still had access to it if we needed it this doesn't lead anywhere anymore because we're not doing that um, that mini game. None of these people will talk to us. This person will at least let us poke at them, but that's it. So we'll go down wait down this way I think it's the only way back to a place where we can get to the third island so we go through here and then we gotta go over there all right switch please travel is nice <laughs> moves real fast in 2024 this would have been an awful game back in the day to wait for a computer to process all the things all right taking a break from here coming back in fan still running my worst fear my fan is still going our orb is still put away why do we care about the orb we also where does this pulley uh it just has a stubby rod sticking out of the front of it i see it's hard to see that at first it did look like it stuck out to something it also looks like it's connected to okay just a frame in the back so it's literally just oh that's a weird transition connected to this machine which pulls it and pulls it pulls it and pushes it and it drops this guy down, down below, which from what I can tell, we have no access to, except through here. But there's nothing down here. If only I could click through there somewhere, like I could walk down here, find a cave, Go inside, see the dropped orb, or behind the ladder. This is the level that I expect the orb to be in. I checked inside the pipes in case it was in the pipe somehow. Or it's in the water. That doesn't make any sense why that would matter. If the orb is in the water and we turn this away, we've already done that. We've turned that away. It doesn't seem to do anything unless it would power 
with the orb in the water power this thing in a way that it wasn't powering before? No. I don't feel like this thing actually runs. Also, it just seems like a chipper. Like you shoot stuff down here. It goes in the processing hopper and it spits out mulch or something. It super doesn't matter if it gets powered, I think. But then why have it here? If just for the shiggles of you end up getting dropped in the thing above. Okay, if we sit in the hopper, does that turn on the machine? There's a way to sit in the hopper. Just sit. You can't do anything to drop down the hop, drop stuff down the hopper. Because it's over here. Yeah, you can't you can't interact with the shoot in any way. It's just for funsies, I think. It's how you first enter the island, which is funny, but not useful <laughs> anymore. Go down. Can we go down? Oh my gosh. Okay, so useless. The water has to be turned on to this place. There's no secrets here. I'll say one more time, if anybody's looking and wants to drop a hint at this point, we're looping hard. I think we've, we've looked at everything on the, on all three islands, a minimum of twice a piece. And I think this is the sticking puzzle. This is like the linchpin puzzle that's keeping us from doing anything, which feels weird and dumb. It feels like there's not enough to this to make it a complex puzzle. Like what could possibly be holding anything up? Snaps with weight. But it doesn't snap when this weight's on it. Why can you only put one? Why do you need to put any? Leave it open, put it down. Seems like the most logical answer. Because it seems like a... Some sort of a snare of some sort that would catch a small creature. There's nothing in these holes either. Just want to get over there. I just want to... My dude should be able to climb these very shallow rocks. These rocks do not look prohibitory. It seems like totally a thing that I should be allowed to do. If this were a 3D game, <laughs> I would just, I would just do that thing. Nothing over here at all. What was that? God, I have no idea. I'll pop into Oz's stream. We're gonna we're gonna phone a friend. I'm too stuck. Alright, let's see.
check in with Oz. Oz is probably going to pull my stream up. <laughs> it's like Inception. Yep. I knew she was going to. I better I'm gonna pull this thing up so she can see the orb. Maybe she'll remember just seeing the orb thing. Oh, I'm on her screen. Holy moly. Inception galore. Okay. You are my dad. You're my dad. Wookie, wookie, wookie. Hop in a Discord. Oh, oh. I've been here for like have? half an hour. Oh no. Um, I don't I don't know what I need. Does that make sense? Yeah. I I haven't uh I haven't seen anything that is telling me what I have to do in the game at all. There's no quests, there's no no um like a leading person that says, oh, you, I need the red pages. <laughs> so um, turn around. I'm just in exploratory mode right now. Yeah. I'm on the third island. Mm -hmm. So the first island uh, had like a spinny room and yeah. uh, there's like a chapel where the old dude can make himself look like a god. Okay, real quick. Go through these doors. The ones I'm staring at? Yes. Yeah. Don't go all the way forward, though. Oh, uh, uh-huh. Go back to the door. Like, turn around. Yeah. Close the doors. Oh. Okay. Um, do you see that there are paths um, behind the door? I can click. Oh. Really? All right. Thanks. I guess that's all I needed. <laughs> For now. Um, I, I don't know how much this will help, but I know it's something I missed. Okay. Yeah, I... I will. I would have never done yeah. this. Never. Yeah. yeah, it took me a hot minute. It would have taken me eighty-four years. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Oz. Yeah. All right. I'll let you go. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I don't know. There's uh like probably zero chance especially if i'm streaming like i'm not gonna click every single thing and close doors to see what's behind them <sighs> i mean maybe now i'll start doing that but um god that's this is so rude because this isn't a puzzle right a puzzle game wouldn't say hey have you thought about closing open doors and seeing what they might hide. Is that a puzzle? I feel like, to me, the definition of a puzzle does not include we've hidden something behind something else. Maybe you will click on it and find out one day. <laughs> I could just be, you know, sour grapes or whatever. Well, it looks like I'm back at the spinny thing again. Or a different spinny thing? I'm on a different island different island this one also has a spinny thing um this one has a spinny thing and it is powered so we could turn the water off and maybe we could oh or could we just push this button what's this do oh it's not a button i can't even 
I have literally no idea what I'm looking at. It's a screen where I can see it, a round thing. <laughs> it is round. Sir so says the sound like song lyrics close open doors and see what they might buy. That is a l no. Okay. Take your word. Whatever it is, it's unclickable. So that's what's down these stairs. What goes the other way? It's the catwalk to that place I've been trying to get to. I thought surely the puzzle I'm trying to solve for will lead us to this. You could just literally walk here and there. There's a whole shit ton of new places that were covered by an open door that who makes doors that block off hallways too it defies logic oh cool this looked really cool and i was super excited to get here and it is locked <laughs> well let's see what's in here now i'm like every step of the way i want to look behind me this way leads back to the split dome place. Oh man, I'm tripping. I'm tripping now. So, wow. I'm really confused. Is that island over there with the weird rock? The one that we were at? Or is that a different place? I feel like it's a different place. Okay. We're going up to the split dome. Split dome. Oh, it. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's steam. Neat. Okay, let's ascend. Let us. Oh, we can't ascend. Let us pull the lever. Cronk. Oh. <laughs> Pulling the lever does nothing. <laughs> I'm so happy I came here. I'm so happy I found those two. Well, okay. I see a, a lever with, or I see steam coming off of this. And this, there's a path down there. Do we divert that so that the steam doesn't spit up and then it'll power this that's currently not powered? That's got to be it. So how do we get down there then? We get there by no clue. We'd have to go back to the first island. We'd have to know something. We'd have, probably have to get the key to that padlocked area. But they'd only show you this. Uh, also, the thing that you were looking at, I have info now. The thing you were looking at, I have info now. Oh, do you want a soft hint? Oh, oh, what are you? <gasps> Did that turn off the fan? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't, don't tell me about the little dome yet. I got turned off my fan. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello, secret room. Where are we? Where? Uh, hang on, hang on. Where are we? What is this? I'm inside of that locked place, which I can now open. Okay, that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna stay. I thought I could leave it unlocked so this could be a shortcut. All right, well, anyway, it stopped us here, and it looks like there's some lore. There's also an eyeball here. Uh, it is the three mark. Which is the number one. Um, okay, do we have to memorize, like, where those are? I just know that that's number one now. Anyway, okay. Uh, 87. Oh, this was like two years ago? Something like that, based on the lore that we were reading in the book? 87, 728. Last week, while 
Oh, you better be making notes on those numbers? Oh, son of a... I already know what numbers they are. Do I have to know? Oh, I don't want to ask you this question. Uh... Secret lab DI was KI was um I'll have to go back and look at them. There's no way I remember where I found those things. Okay. Last week while monitoring the situation of the villages from the scope in my survey room, I s I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, however, <laughs> I was surprised to see another floating there. The missing object had apparently and quite mysteriously been replaced with a new one overnight. I've long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on the village's island, but I paid them little notice until now. Tomorrow I shall send surveyors to catalog the others. Gotcha. I'm looking at number one of those, and I'm going to need to know where all the other ones are and, like, touch them in order or something like that. Nuts! Oh, we can't do anything with them. Um, interesting. We can observe these things up close, but not do anything with them. Book! Uh, ooh! <laughs> Words just apparated. 82. Oh, this goes way back. 213. The latest ink formulation has proven a failure. Even when writing in my most promising books, I obtain only the barest glimmer of a connection. It is frustrating to expend so much effort creating a blank book, only to end up destroying it when it doesn't work. There are days when the lab is uncomfortably warm from the flames of the failed attempts. The further I refine each element, the formulations of the inks and papers, the physical dimensions of the books, the more I realize that the list of potential combinations is nearly infinite. It is during moments like these that I despair. Without access to Dunny, my long-term goals may never be accomplished. Nevertheless, there are avenues of research w which remain to be explored. I am discontinuing regular observations of the stars beneath the fissure. Although I have been able to track the dark cloud-like formations that migrate through the star field and have proven that their paths are cyclical, without proper instrumentation it is pointless to continue. My general theory concerning the nature of the fissure has remained unaltered since it first appeared. It seems that the fabric of this age has been breached in a way that permits matter to be hospitably exchanged between two discrete but overlapping spaces, much like a link. But the apparent physical contradictions surrounding this juncture defy logical reason the great column of wind that was formed when the fissure first appeared suggests a vacuum as one might expect in space yet my early experimentations revealed the presence of a breathable atmosphere that atris and catherine threw themselves into the void is further evidence that it might be safe to travel but without knowing its true nature i cannot take the risk myself it is also difficult to say what would happen if i were to reopen it after so long but it is likely that the results would be catastrophic, given the changes that have occurred in this age since that time. Maintenance on the steam vent caps completed, 83 to 10. I'm extremely pleased with the continued success of this system. All right, talk to me about the steam vent caps. I believe the construction to have been true to the Dunny designs of my memory, another example of the superiority of the Dunny technology. It's ironic that Atris and Catherine unwittingly provided me with such a convenient source of power. Okay, so these caps cause steam. Got it. Cool. As with many of my views over the years, my thoughts regarding the origin of the fissure have changed. I've recently begun to wonder whether it was actually an unexpected byproduct of the changes Catherine and Atris wrote into this age during their escape. Certainly by casting their linking book into the void, they trapped me here quite effectively, but I do not believe that Atris intended the book to be lost in this manner. Much better to destroy it than to risk the possibility of its falling into unknown hands. Also, had they foreseen the creation of the fissure, they surely would have thought that the vacuum it created would eventually consume the atmosphere of this planet, a fate which Catherine undoubtedly would have deemed unacceptable for her home world. Wait, she's from here? Hello? That's new. 
If I had not been there to supervise the construction of the seal, this is most certainly what would have happened, for the villagers were far too frightened to even approach the vortex without my urging. I hold on to the belief that it was an unintended consequence of their writing for another reason as well. I prefer to think that my son had meant for this age to be merely a prison for me rather than a death sentence. 83514. The construction of the images has proceeded without fault. Im imagers, imagers, has proceeded without fault. It is interesting to see how easily I've been able to adapt the Dunny technology to mimic that of the Ahmad. In some ways, the similarities between the two cultures were striking. I wonder if perhaps there had been a, communi a big communication or commerce between the two cultures in earlier times. Maybe Keta's people were even descendants of the Dunny. It pleases me to think so. Note, it's possible to that if I were somehow able to supply the books with a power source of sufficient magnitude, I could suppress the variants enough to facilitate a solid link. It is doubtful that the geothermal cap generations could provide such an enormous surge. Perhaps it could adapt the fire marbles. The what? <laughs> I've been cataloging the nat natural elements of this age for nearly 30 years now, yet still continue to find evidence of the Dunny preoccupation with five. As a boy, it was very clear to me that the number five had a special significance to the Dunny society. From the ancient heraldic emblems of the ruling elite to the humble homes of the commoners, it was ubiquitous. Its presence here is obviously a direct reflection of the minds that designed the texts that I used to compose this age. Interesting. Interesting. Further proof that through their art, the Dunny masters were indeed creating the marvelous worlds they wrote, and not, as many have mistakenly thought, merely building links to pre-existing worlds. While most of my constructions have been based on Dunny designs, I, I see now that the ones that I have imbued with the power of fire are clearly the most beautiful, the most perfect, and I believe the most structurally sound. I'm still attempting to determine how the Dunny color symbology reflects this superior design principle. Although superficially, it is based on a six color system. What? <laughs> oh no. I'm convinced that there has to be a deeper connection to five. I will continue to investigate. And I see six different eyes that we're going to make note of here. Because I think I ought to. So there's like um, half closed. Closed. Um, half closed with a slit, I guess. Closed. Um, uh, quarter closed with a dot. I don't know if that's quarter closed or not. It looks less closed. <laughs> More closed than the other one. Uh, full open. Quarter closed. Dot vertical and closed vertical. I'm uh, making stuff up that hopefully will make sense when I read it like five hours from now <laughs> in stream. 83911. I've finally made a breakthrough. I have succeeded in modifying the fire marbles to generate enough power to hold a descriptive linking book in a stable matrix. I have linked to a new world. It is a harsh and desolate age, but it is nonetheless well suited for my purposes. And so I've de designated it my. And that's like a number. That's like the KI with slits and the IN with slits. That's like a. 43rd or something like that 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 may be right but whatever maybe it's higher because there's slashes through them um which might mean there's there are multiples of five higher than that i don't know i don't know anyway by studying it closely i believe i will eventually be able to create a more appropriate age for us to resettle on for now i will build an office and set up my living quarters there in order that I may conduct my experiments in safety and without distraction. My goodness, he found a way off of uh, this age. Whoops. I must admit that I am proud of my work. To think that in such primitive conditions I have accomplished 29 years what it took the original Dunny centuries to, to achieve. Note, repair outerwear for work on this world. The goggles may need to be redesigned altogether. Oh, gotcha. He needs to, like, do 
biohazard suit, whatever, for the other place. 44, 413. 413. I have begun construction on a series of link sites for each island that will reconnect Riven with my new office on 43 or whatever. The Survey Guild has finally completed the site location for each island. According to my exact specifications, and installation of the domes is underway at last. Ah, uh, you have to live in domes there, huh? Work on the central power source got off to a bit of a bad start, I'm afraid, but the base has picked up considerably since then, and I anticipate no further delays. I'm looking forward to finally having civilized, a civilized mode of transportation. Okay. Due to the rebels' continued disturbances, I've decided to install a coded access in system into all the domes. Hello. That's a bunch of numbers, the likes of which I don't really know. That first one looks like the number four, but with a weird... Uh, jeez. Am I going to have to, like, get out paint to do this? It's fine. So it's like... And a bump, 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 bow. And then do 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 do. That went like that, and then that comes in like that. And then there's one of these and one of these. Okay, we're gonna save that as um, missed, even though this game's driven. Helps me remember if everything's tied to my tippy. Okay, uh, I caught one of my assistants looking over this journal today. I'm glad I've chosen to write write it in a language they cannot decipher. Oh, aren't you clever? Little jerk. Note, discuss security with each guild master. No problems expected from the maintainers, educators, and surveyors. Question the bookmakers and builders more closely. 861024. Today I heard several more reports of spirit sightings by some of the villagers. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels or the black moiety, as the villagers obstinately insist on referring to them, have attained a new level of sophistication in the terror tactics and have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers into joining them, playing upon their shared superstitions. The villagers are certainly susceptible to this form of coercion, especially given of late the rebels' increasing acts of vandalism and theft. 87, 115. Oh, this guy only writes like a couple times a year. The Etram traps have been steadily fruitful this year. Apparently, the breakup of the islands has not adversely affected the subterranean ecosystems. Oh. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are experiencing a similarly generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their darts this season. Such morbid issues aside, the sudden availability has allowed me to refine a particularly pleasant extract for my pipe. <laughs> One that is smoother than any of the others from recent years. He's smoking, like, poison. Poison dart <laughs> juice in his pipe. Nice. Good job. Well done. 87.329. Chemical analysis of one of the rebel knives has yielded curious results. Its composition contains elements that are unlike anything I've encountered on these islands. It appears they have access to a resource of which I am unaware. Perhaps a mine on an enchanted island. Aha, uh -huh, this is the guy that stole my book. No, most of the knives have been found on the south side of the village. This is the same area in which there have been reports of, mis of people mysteriously disappearing. I think a closer inspection of the area is warranted. The fact that they leave these distinctive knives as a sign of their presence concerns me. They're growing more bold, and it seems to no longer, and seem to no longer fear discovery of their hideout. Eighty-seven, six, twenty-seven. The latest measurements indicate that the recent trend has continued. The movement of the islands has slowed tremendously. My previous estimates predicted a total collapse in approximately three months. But with the new figures, I am uncertain. I've nearly finished writing the... Oh, uh, don't know what that number is. 44th age, maybe? Uh, and I have every faith that it will be indeed be a safe place for us to relocate to. Yet, it would be helpful to know what has caused the halt in this age's breakup. Is possible that it's stable after all? If so, I must discover how this age differs from my less successful attempts. My examinations of the 43rd age have thus far proven inconclusive. 
Hmm. Or perhaps someone is repairing the damage to the fifth age. If so, it would almost certainly be Atris's doing. I have reluctantly decided to abandon my experiments into the behavior of the water of this age, as there are more pressing matters on which I must now concentrate, leaving me little time for such speculative research. For further reference, however, my investigations up to this point have revealed the following. I believe the remarkable properties of the water to be caused by a life form that resides in it, specifically a type of bacteria. I am imagining a motil unicellular organism, but one with structures capable of holding bits of water, whose combined effect via surface tension, a stronger force, caused the composite body of water to move in response to heat. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, for example, a period of extended boiling, seems to kill the bacteria, which would explain its dramatic aversion to heat sources. Unfortunately, these theories are still not fully tested, and I remain ignorant both of its deeper nature and its possible uses. 8776. Whoa! Got a lore dump tonight. An exciting development. Last night, a squad of maintainers stumbled upon a lone rebel scout and obtained from him a most incredible device. It is a crystal that somehow powers these flawed linking books, much as my own system does, but with an obvious advantage. It is small and weighs only a few pounds, making it completely portable. Catherine must have fabricated the device before I captured her, obviously with an explicit Denis schematic she must have brought with her to this age. If only I'd had access to such a document all those years. Regardless, I can now concentrate solely on the waiting of a- writing of ages and need no longer worry about building elaborate power supplies for each new book I write. This is a sobering reminder, however, that I must continue to seek an avenue to Dunny. Regaining access to these resources there may be crucial to the completion of my mission. What's his mission? Who's he trying to kill? Why is he like this? Also, can I write in your book, yo? I know how to do the writing art thing, maybe. Maybe there's... Maybe there's stuff I know. Maybe if I fuck around, I'll find out. (laughs) That seems like a really bad idea. What is this thing? I want to use all your tools, yo. Can I just take everything from him? I just want, just want to learn. Want to learn your ways. Gen. Oh, he's got one of these things. Uh, not sure why. These look like weapons, perhaps. Could those be ammunition of some, some sort? Lots of potion bottles. Chemistry set. Very cute. I like it. Can we open any of these drawers? Oh, we can. Cool. Neat. Um, eggs. He's an egg collector. I think he's just a scientist trying to learn everything about the age, you know? Um, oh, hi. Got a little burner here. Oh, uh, is this proving the aversion that the water has to heat? The water is climbing up the glass to get away from the heat. You're making the water sad. Can I turn this off? Oh, it turns itself off and the water climbs back down. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, thanks for teaching me about that. Um... What else is in here? There's a whole other shelf. There's like a big burner on the inside here too. It shows the other shelf over here. Just got, what are we looking at? Just marks in wood. Okay, well, you know, that's good to know too. Lots of books, can I take some of these? Oh, are they all blank? I could be writing my own age to escape to. What is this? I'm not sure what that does. And what does this do? And what does this do? It's a press. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> Just kidding. That's awful. Maybe this is like for book binding. 
traps. Okay. I think we're good there. That's the front door. What is this door? Just another door. Oh. There are two, do two doors out of here. So I'm scared to go out of this one. Door might close behind me. The door closed behind me. Okay, I can get back in it. This was where I... This is where I was. There's a new area out this way. Oh, man. I don't know. If I get too exploratory... I might stay up late. <laughs> Okay, we'll figure out where this goes. And then we'll probably call it. I can't be up that late for tomorrow. I'll take this moment while we're in ad break. Thank, uh, uh, for those of you who are in ad break, uh, I apologize that I'm skipping over you. But um, thank you all for being here tonight. This game has been really interesting. Um, I'm... I'm pretty upset at the one thing that was a sticker for us. And then, you know, one thing got unblocked and suddenly like the, a whole bunch of world opened up, like so much content opened up after one little thing. But it's like one thing that I don't, I don't know that I would have tried. Do you ever go in games and like close doors to see if there's anything hiding behind the door? Maybe, but I think, I think the thing is, and this is something that, um, that sucked about the first mist too is that um, in modern games when the developers try an idea like oh don't you think it would be cool if we uh, had a hallway but it was hidden behind like when you have the doors open you can't see the hallway you close the doors you can see the hallway which isn't normal architecture in the first place but you know what if we did that to play test that against a bunch of people and see how it worked out first which i don't think of this era people really did a lot of play testing and then just kind of see um let's go I just kind of see uh, if there's a way that you can make that happen. I think the number one way you see that happen in modern games is... Um, this is so much fun. Woo. The way you see that in modern games is they show that to you with low stakes early in the game. So then you'll be forced to do it later. I.e. you come into a room, you're locked in a dead end. The only thing you can do is like close the door in that room and when you close the door in that room it opens up the way and maybe if the game is like extra tutorially which they don't all have to be this lame but it could even say on the screen you know uh sometimes the way may may be occluded by closed doors or by open doors that need to be closed uh that would be like really handholdy though to have to say that but just teaching somebody what you do by doing a low stakes version of that same puzzle earlier on in the game then it's like pattern matching what the developers were thinking instead of trying to imagine what the developers were thinking without any input into their brains um the people that made mist one i don't know if they're the same people that made riven but they were brothers so if they tested ideas off of each other they're probably both going to be thinking roughly the same way they're going to be oh that's a great puzzle yeah i think that I think that's a good puzzle. <laughs> Whereas if they just got some external uh, people on it, maybe those people would be like, oh, no, this is a bad idea. Don't do it. Or, you know, later on, you have games where you can just patch ideas out. So it's like, oh, you know what? This was super unfair, and a lot of the community really hated this idea. Um, we went for a different puzzle metric because it was more favorable to everybody. Sierra says, I once read that Mist was just made by a handful of friends in a garage. I super feel that. Uh, I think it feels that way. A lot of the puzzles that they had were kind of um, novice, really. Like, listen for sounds and the sounds map to patterns. Or press these buttons and these buttons map to uh, numerical values that add up. Uh, these are puzzles that puzzle playing people all have seen 
and and mess around with at some point in their lives, including myself. I, like I've seen those, and I don't even, I would not consider myself somebody who plays puzzle games. I've only there's a whole story about how I got into being a a puzzle game streamer once a week, but it's not because this is my genre. Um, and I I still feel like a lot of them are kind of like low hanging fruit. But I think what makes Mist memorable is the time it takes for most people to beat and uh, the lore. The lore is really cool. And that's why I think these games have so much nostalgia is for the lore. And that's what I'm most on and excited for in Riven. I don't care if I need like a little hand through um, a secret or a hide hidden thing here, as long as it just gets me to more lore. I would never want to be spoiled on the lore. Like, oh, are you almost to the place where so-and-so dies? I'd be like, I'd flip my table and perma-ban that person. <laughs> but, um, but the other thing that I was kind of surprised at is that there's so much time to, to beat the game part that I think a lot of people remember. I've never heard anybody say Mist is less puzzle game and more just they hid stuff places. But now that I've played it, I super feel that way. It is primarily a lore game, and that's what it does best. It is secondarily an Easter egg hunt, and that's what it that's what sucks. I hate that part, personally. I think it's loathsome. I think it feels worse than like Donkey Kong Country or Banjo Kazooie, where the objective is run around and try your best to see all the places a developer might hide the golden shiny pickups that you have to get. And you have to get like 200 of them to get to the next area, which gets bored and tiresome. It's fun for kids, but the older you get, it, I mean, you only need to play like two or three of those games. You're like, I super get this genre and I do not want to ever play this again. <laughs> like I played the crap out of Banjo-Kazooie. So I'm so good on like hunting and looking at different angles and maps and, oh, do you think there's a way up there? Or like, oh, I bet they hid something in this mini game. You know, it gets old after you've done enough of it. And the and Mist so far is leaning really heavy on. We've stashed something. Can you find it? What if you click here? You better click everywhere on every every screen or you better move your cursor to the edges and see, can you look up here? Can you look down here? Have you tried walking into a room and then immediately turning around? We've hidden something there too, you know. And then tertiary, it's a puzzle game. The puzzles are fairly well done. The puzzles in this one with all of the pulling levers that they don't tell you what they do, it's tiring. <laughs> it gets tired because it's like, okay, if you give me three uh, three levers, that's nine combinatoric possibilities that it could do that I have to like sit through and, and write down somewhere so that I'm mapping it properly so I know kind of what they're doing. And if it's more than three, the combinatoric starts to skyrocket, right? It gets super frustrating to have to do all that and test to see what's going on. Um, but hopefully we don't get to the place where that happens. And hopefully in future mists past Riven, it becomes much less Easter eggy and maybe the puzzles will get more nuanced and maybe it won't be about like, why don't you do a science experiment for half an hour to figure out what, what all of these, you know, unlabeled buttons do. <laughs> maybe it'll be more like lore driven or maybe the puzzles would be more adult or maybe they'll actually be rational instead of, you know, guess, guess, guess until you figure out uh, the key. That might be that might make it more fun, but we'll see. Uh, I'm checking out the wiki and it was still the brothers, but production was a lot more major for Riven. Many more develop developers than the original four people. Development spanned over four years. A budget of between uh, five and ten million. More than ten times the cost of developing Mist. That's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I assume they must have been having uh, living, living large at that point. <laughs> like actually being paid to play games. Xnet! Hi and bye. Yes, we are quitting for the night tonight. Definitely watch this VOD. Um, there's, it's, this is probably, honestly, to be fair, a better stream to watch on VOD than it is to watch live because there is like a, a dearth, an absence of entertainment, in my opinion. You could just like skip. <laughs> you could skip to the place where you see uh, me asking the streamer of Oz for help and then getting that help because then that got me over a hurdle and then there was, you know, more progress after that. Um, but next Saturday we'll be continuing right from this very spot. So, um, so that's fun. <laughs> all right. If you are on YouTube or kick right this moment, uh, first of all, thank you for being here. 
YouTubers, I super appreciate you. What I really need is everybody on YouTube to watch as many of my videos as possible. So I will keep streaming uh, four days a week on YouTube to make that happen. The more watch hours I get, the closer I will be uh, able to repartner with YouTube. I lost partnership several years ago because they changed the metrics and I did not qualify any longer with my small little channel. I would love to grow my channel to a place where I am partnered again. And I think 2024 is the year to do it. So thank you for your watch hours. If you're on kick uh, or if you're watching on another streaming platform and you didn't know I was on kick, go hop on kick.com, make a, make a profile. It's free. It takes like one minute and then uh, go to uh, kick.com slash Damien Hallmate. Send me a follow. If I get, um, 63 more followers i'm an affiliate that's it that's all i need I've, I've hit every other metric on kick already and i'm a relatively new streamer there um but uh all i need is followers so do me a solid and do that uh love your faces if you're safe fed and loved please make sure someone out there is too and i'll see everybody on youtube and kick on wednesday for my next discourse this one's going to be a pretty interesting topic with a lot to talk about i'm sure everybody will be will have an opinion on these things so uh please do tune in wednesday night all right i'll see you guys later twitch hang out for just a second